All right, brother, we're live. Yeah, yeah I'm going to finally finish this uh, this little dust tactics thing. I'm going to let this future dry so I can put some, um, you know, some streaking and shit on it. And I'm going to yeah. use that. Um, I got that uh, that this stuff from Cromlick. This rust, this orange rust. Yeah. I'm gonna use How do you the, like? Yeah, the orange rust. I'm going to use that. What is, is, is it a pigment or is it an ink or what is it? No, this is a powder, but I have the I have the paint, you know, that MIG paint. Uh-huh. So I'll use that. But I want to I want to put some I don't think that orange rust will look good on this because it's an orange vehicle, so you might not see it, you know. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I'm gonna put some streaking on it with some um I was gonna use the the MIG stuff. The AK stuff, but I think I'm just going to use my oil paints. You know, I like the way the oil paints. I can I can blend them better. You know, yeah. like on the back Thanks of the up, guys. Hey, how you doing? Oh, the buddy. what's up, brother? Hey, dude. <laughs> how you doing, my friend? All right, man. I just saw that the notice went out on Facebook a little while ago, and I had a little bit of time before uh, things got crazy here in the office, man. Yeah, before, well, all those, before all those customers come in and swamp you, huh, brother? Yeah, yeah, it's, it gets kind of funny out here. It's a cool office when you can have a big poster of the Falcon in the background. Oh yeah, that yeah, that's uh, that was a gift for my wife. Hey, I've got like, I've got the Millennium Falcon in some form all over the shop here, so. Now, hey, your shop. Now, my my my, you're on. You're off of, are you off of 410? Yeah, we're right at uh, 410 and I-10. Uh, right, I don't know, uh, I don't know how long ago you were here uh, in San Antonio, but uh, it used to be Crossroads Mall. Yeah, I know exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, uh, uh, it's, yeah, we, we've, we've been here now for about a year, and uh, it's, it's kind of, it kind of took a while to take off, but now it's, we're kind of, we're hitting our stride now. Good. Now that's a lot of uh, baby boomers going in there. Well, I'm sorry, what was that? I mean, what, where, where do you think the bulk of the business is coming from? Is it kids, baby boomers, millennials, Generation Xers? I would say, you know, it's a big, there's a, I have a big cross uh, section. I, I get a lot of uh, Generation Xers, but pr pretty much me, and a lot of uh, older guys, uh, baby boomers. Uh -huh. uh, I don't get a lot of uh, the younger kids in here, uh, so uh, mostly mostly my age and and, uh, and older. Go ahead, Gil. I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember the crossword now. Is that the? I'm I'm thinking of Military Drive. Is that the one right before Military Drive between Military Drive and Culebra? Uh ooh, no, no, we're we're um. No, we're we're uh, right at 410 and I 10. I don't know that we're in the medical center. It's uh, so north, north central San Antonio. So you're further down, by, like well, you're not close to the airport, but you're north of that, right in that area, a little further down. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like Culebra and Military Drive and Pearsall Road up the further. Um, oh right no no yeah we're, we're we uh, no we're we're not in that area we're we're. Kind of centrally located. We're probably five miles east of. I'm sorry, five miles west of the airport. Where that big boot is? Where that big boot is? No, no, no. We're that's North Star Mall. That's a that's a totally different place. Okay, but, so you're, uh, you're further north from that, closer to yeah. the airport. Okay, I know where you're at. I can find yeah. it. I'm gonna be up there uh, next month, either next month or January, and I want to stop in and check your place out. I can find. Oh it. yeah, that's free, man. That'll be, that'll be great, right? We can actually do a segment here. Oh, yeah, because my family, my mom and dad, they're right there, right uh, right off of 410 and Military Drive there. South Military Drive. So they're right there. Uh, that's uh, that's kind of where, that, that's the neighborhood I kind of grew up in. Yeah, right around that, yeah, the old, where the, the, the base land, where they, you know where the, where those dogs, where they train the dogs? Yes, yeah. She's right across I, the street. Yeah. She's right across the street from that. Okay. Wow, small world, man. Yeah, that's where my father's from. My father's from San Antonio, so they they moved. Okay. Back. I got I got aunts and uncles that are all up in San Antonio, and they're in Corpus and El Paso, 
but for the most part, um, on my dad's side, they're all there in San Antonio. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll just say, man, the first time I saw your videos, man, I was wondering if you if you were a local guy. Because <laughs> I heard you saying a few things, you know, and I was like, ah, this guy's got to be from here. Yeah. So, yeah, well, and, you, yeah, you well, you pick that up, and then, then where I grew up, you had a lot of people from Texas, so you pick up the little thing, and then you go, I used to go back there all the time, you know, every summer, they, you guys spend some time there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and the, <coughs> Excuse me. The first five years of my life, I lived there. Oh, okay. I ran on the bench there with my dad, my mom and dad. Uh, yeah, I was there. I was there till I was. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I was. I was uh, two between the ages of two and six. I uh, spent in San Antonio, um, and um, with my grandmother. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, small world. Small world. Yeah. So what's going on today, man? What are y'all doing? Oh man, I was just, just trying to get ready for a show tomorrow. Um, I was working on this. <laughs> what I when it, what aren't I working on? I got shit everywhere, man. Um, yeah, yeah. My desk looks like a like a like a paint box blew up in here. You know, it's just my wife comes in here and like tries to clean up, and then I, then I, then I spend the next three hours looking for stuff she put away. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> hey, but, no. yeah, I mean. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, the chat's up now. You know, I got to learn how to do that live thing, you know, where they do the chat. Oh, you know, like the, a little text box? Or yeah, well, the text box is open, but they have a um, they have this thing in beta now with YouTube where you can go live. Um, the yeah. only problem with that is you got to download an encoder. And I Ooh. downloaded one, and it just didn't, it didn't go, it didn't work well with my computer, and I had to get rid of it. So I'm going to have to try that. Yeah, the terrain tutor just wanted to know if there was a chat going on. We just opened it. Oh. What I'm, watching it. I'm watching it. Go ahead, Gil. I'm cool. I can right. keep it. Yeah, but no, man. That's a, so you got a lot of – now, now, I got a question for you. I mean, maybe maybe uh, we'll have you on on the show one of these days and talk if it's up to you. I mean, you know, talk about your shop. What, what, uh -huh. what prompted you to do that, what you're doing? Oh, you know uh, – that's a funny question. I have been fired so many times from all these other jobs that I had no <laughs> I had no other uh, option to, other than uh, start my own business. But uh, I was a graphic designer, and we opened up the shop here as a print shop and graphic design uh, firm. So uh, we still I still do that. You know, I still set up uh, logos and marketing material for for businesses here. Um, but I brought in uh, my big giant Millennium Falcon that I got because my wife just didn't want to have it there at the, sh at the house, you know. So uh, <laughs> I mean, it was yeah. She was she was like, hey, this is not going to be on my coffee table. So uh, so I brought it in and people just started coming by. And then I, I got a display case and I brought everything from the house in the shop. And and yeah, so people just came in, started coming in just for the models and stuff. And before I know it, now we're I'm doing 50-50. I'm doing uh, I spend uh, most of the afternoon, most of the business day working on graphic design, and then I got to work here for another six days. Well, I'm sorry, uh, another four hours in the day to work strictly on models. So well, I've got a ten-hour day here. Wow! But you're getting the best of both worlds as far as you're getting some of your cre your your hobby in there, but you're you're, you're able to make a, a you know, I mean some money on it, you know. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not charging Steve Neal money. Yeah. <laughs> for stuff, you know, but uh, uh it it's it, it's starting to pick up and it's actually starting to become a, a a nice little source of income for us. It's an unexpected source. Uh cuz I never thought my stuff was good enough to to be sold. Dude, but you, you know, know when you did uh, you did that, I think it was you that did that uh that that hot scene with the you made a um a nightstand for or a nightlight, right? Was that was that yours? No, that wasn't me. I thought that was you. I, somebody told me anyway. But oh every, wait, which every one? Time, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've I've had a few things go in, and I don't think I've done anything hot. Not uh, hot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dagobah. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's that's me. I did the uh, Dagobah scene with the. Uh, that's when I first found your channel, and I saw that. And I, I thought, 
Man, I got you get to this day. I got it sitting right here. I got it from Baltus out here, and I got mm-hmm. it. Sitting right here. Every time I look at it, man, I got to because I got my grandson running around. I want to do the same thing for him. The same thing. Every time somebody asks me about this, you gotta go check this out, man. It's my, it's the greatest nightlight ever, man. You know. <laughs> but you know, every time, every time I see these toys, you know, like these these toys that uh, toys that Russ and stuff, I swear to you, bro, you're the first person I think. I wonder what he'd do with that. You know, yeah. I wonder what. Well, I mean, I, it, it's yeah. funny, yeah. That that nightlight, I still have it. I have it here in the shop, and uh, I get a lot of offers for that, and I can't sell that because it still technically belongs to my little boy. Uh huh. But uh, what I did with that, I don't know. I don't know if I did another update. I I removed the uh, the plastic figures that came in the the, the kit, and I replaced them with a, a black series Yoda and a black series uh-huh. Luke. So they they really fit with that now, and and arguably in scale with those guys more so than the big giant figures. But I tell you what, though, man, that to this day, every time I every time I talk about getting ready to sit down and do that, I tell them, you guys got to go see that video, man, because that, that that was just the cool. I thought it was the coolest damn thing I'd ever seen, man, when I saw that. <laughs> were, Thanks. I think you were showing that, and then you were showing some other things you had in your apartment, I think. You know, and then you started working on that for your boy, and I yeah. thought, damn, that is cool, man. That is just cool. Like, man, I just said, damn. And then when he gave me that, I thought, that's what I'm doing with it. That's exactly what I'm doing with it, you know. Yeah, all, all I did was uh, I took these little tea lights from Michaels, right? And I just drilled some holes. And I I can inter- I can change them out whenever the battery goes dead, so I could just pop them in and out. That but is cool. uh, it, yeah, that. Was, that added a lot of life to it. It's, uh, but thanks, thanks. Cool. That's really. No, it's great, man. Balsa, have you ever seen it? No, no, I've not seen it. Dude, you gotta go check it out, man. You gotta go check it out. That's because that's the one I'm always talking about when I talk about that little scene, you know. No, you cannot have silly putty. Grandpa says you can't have this. You get it all over the walls. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, your mama said I can't give you this anymore. No more. No more. You, yeah, go eat, the, eat your potato chips, but you can't have this. <laughs> you got Johnny's uh, chop chops, huh? Hey, Johnny, you want to? Oh, I got a. Hey, Wayne, A is a, a B. Is the link up on? I didn't put the link up on the uh, syndicate page. You want to throw it up there, bro? It's you got, up. Yeah. It's, it's up. up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Wayne, just go over there and, and, and click the link on the on the syndicate uh, G plus page, bro. Let's see. Yeah, Wayne Lasby. Wayne, Wayne Lasby was asking for a, a link, and I just told him to. I don't think he's. I don't think he's on Facebook. If not, I can give it to him here. Let me let me send one to Johnny if he's at his bench. You know what? It's on the uh, syndicate Facebook page. Let me put it on uh, on the. Uh, let me go to the uh, hangout right now, and I'll just post it in the comments now. Dude, I can never get this thing. This Google, man, I wish they'd, they'd finally get this thing, you know, straightened out, man. I don't know if it's, it's on I, got, my, I, got I don't know if it's on my end, and I think it is because every time I go to put, I see the guys on my on my feed here. I go to give them a um an invite, and it doesn't pop up. Hey, man, did you guys check out that new uh, Star Wars trailer from? Uh... Oh, the Japanese trailer. Yeah, that one's sweet, man. You can see how you know how how it just—it's another piece of the puzzle, right? Yeah, no spoilers yet, and that's that's cool because I mean, that's I I I kind of I I don't like those trailers where they kind of give you the entire synopsis of the movie. Oh man, I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> well, these these have been good because they give you a lot compared to other trailers for other big movies, but they don't give you anything. And, uh, here. They show you a lot, but they don't give you anything. Yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 anxious for the movie. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up on the Google Plus. You got the comments disabled on the Hangouts. So I can't. Post. I don't know why I got the every. How do I got the comments disabled? You gotta push the button that says O F F. I did. It's not gonna, did you did it's not gonna let me disable him, is it? I don't know. 
I never tried it afterwards. Well, let me go look, because I did that, man. I'm looking right at it. It says comments, questions and answers, live, comments. Okay, I just posted on the, on the G+. Why is it? I don't know. Maybe I got to delete this and start it again. And <sighs> no, no, I think it should be good. Yeah, but I don't know why it's doing this, because it won't even let me send uh, um, invites to people. So I don't know what's going on with it. It's everything. Even now, you know what? Even Facebook. Facebook wants you to scan your ID and send it. You see that, Chase? No. Yeah, because they want to confirm. Well, 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 they sent me something to confirm my ID, so they want me to scan an ID. I wouldn't. That sounds like a scam. Yeah, that don't sound right to me, dude. Oh, but here, if I go to Facebook through any other link that I have through anyone, it wants to go through that uh, ID check, which is weird. Hmm. Like, what the hell is this? Now, it's probably because I don't have it under my name, but a lot of people don't have their own name on there. Oh, shit, That's, my it, Yeah, maybe that might be it, but I don't. That, I, I wouldn't put my ID in. <laughs> well, I'm going to be like, shit, this is like Big Brother shit, man. This is the, the crap that uh, the guy Snowden, you know, come on, this is the sh stuff that it's on his report. Oh, shit, I got to watch my life. No, I got 18 plus on here, but still, I don't I don't see it here, B. I mean, I don't see why it's telling me yeah. that. Yeah, oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay. Close the door. Yeah. I'm on my hangout, so don't be bothering me. Yeah, it's telling me on my end that the comments are enabled. Or yeah. I get on now. Yeah, it's on now. I can actually click something here. Yeah, I didn't get. It. I mean, this thing is just whack, man. Yeah. There, there's a little sidebar that just opened up on my screen, okay. and uh, Q and A. Yeah, but as far as the, um, for some reason, the last two hangouts that I tried to run. Every time I punch somebody, you know, when you when you on the top when you go to add people to send links out to them, uh -huh. half of my people, half, I see them. I mean, I can see them in, in my in my groups, but when I go to send them an invite, it won't send them the invite. Hmm. That's bogus. Yeah. Let me try using this. Yeah. Yeah. So you got a boba. A Boba Fett there, buddy. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. This, I just finished this guy here. Uh, this is uh, let me see if I can uh, This is the uh, Disney store. If I repainted the entire thing, get it up close. Um, I removed the, uh, the plastic cape, replaced it with that. Oh, that's cool, dude. Uh, that's, that's actually an old T-shirt. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, but yeah, this this one took me a few few months to to paint. Oh, it's cool, dude. Yeah, but that Boba Fett came out really nice the way you painted it. You redid it. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I really don't want to give it up now. You know, the guy come by and pick it up this weekend, you know, and I'm like, ah, you know, can you come by next week? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, nah, I don't want to give it up. Yeah, I, I'm gonna tell him it, it was stolen. <laughs> Is that Wayne? I see a Wayne here, yeah. Hi, Gail. How you doing, Wayne? We can't, we don't have your, uh, your we only got your avatar. You got a lot of background noise. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of background noise. Don't bring. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to get another cup of coffee. All right, buddy. So have you been seeing uh, like like a bunch of folks take uh, those new uh, those new, uh, hero series uh, figures out to you? Yeah, I, I have one. Uh, the, are you talking about the Darth Vader? Yeah, like the Darth got the Darth Vader. They got the uh, stormtroopers. I uh, I have a the, I have a I, I call him the Buddha of my shop, but I have this guy here. This is another repaint that I did. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up all the detail in this guy, but uh, the helmet, I, re I 
kind of repainted his entire face faceplate. Well, if I can get it in there. It's, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> but uh, it's a three-tone helmet and uh, gloss black, gunmetal, and then a lighter shade of gunmetal here. Uh, just to add a little bit of uh, depth to the to the helmet, uh -huh. everything, you know, all this, everything else was repainted. And uh, this guy has actually sold. This yeah. guy's been on layaway here for like the last eight months. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I don't want to call the guy up because I'm afraid he might have passed away. So how much has he got? Uh, you know, so you know, let let's say something like that, the Boba Fett and something like that Darth Vader. You know what I mean? Like a ballpark, uh, how much would you be looking at for something like that? Oh, for for, for, for Boba Fett, since he since the discontinued figure, I did him for one twenty five. For Darth Vader here, I it's I I did him for a, for a lesser price, but uh, I still did it for about eighty bucks uh, when when, we're, when we started all this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, for for figures, I usually. Charge if, if somebody brings me the kit or the figure, then I charge about eighty to ninety dollars for the paint job. Dude, that's cheap, man. It is, yeah. <laughs> it is, uh, and a lot of people are telling me, but man, it is so hard to get people to bite when when they hear that that price tag. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I like I said, I had the giant hero. Hey, what's up? I had the giant hero uh, Millennium Falcon here, and. <laughs> It sold for three fifty, but but everybody else that had hurt every time I told somebody gave somebody the price, you know, I mean, they either fainted or they just you know like left, you know, like tire marks as they ran out of the the, the, the shop. Uh, which is weird because I mean, you think that people would know. Hey, listen, you know, you know, this is not something that's cheap, you know. Yeah. And uh, we, we get, from time to time, we get some people that kind of look at my stuff and they go, ah, well, I can get that for $20 at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and, I mean, it is what it is, and I just kind of say, yeah, you know, you can get it at Walmart for 20 bucks, but when you want it to look as good as this one, then you bring it back to me and I'll paint it for 75 Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's got to be infuriating, bro. I mean, that really it, it is. Uh, I mean, and there's even memes on Facebook that, that that's like the worst thing you could say to an artist or some or a craftsperson is that you can get it at Walmart, and you know some people, yeah, you know it's like yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the hell you you know what the hell you're looking here for? Yeah, you know I mean it's uh, a lot of people expect stuff for free. Not everybody, but you, you know, there's people that kind of look at what what I have here and they don't understand the price. Or the the sticker shock is so immediate that they uh, they they say something. <laughs> they say something stupid. Yeah, I mean, and they don't even mean to be mean. You know, that's that's the thing is that they're not intentionally being like that. I mean, just uh, right. Too much of those thoughtless, uh, inconsiderate things to do. You know, it's just they don't get it. I would snap. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? <laughs> well, you know what? I've had people. And I've run into it, and I'm in no way, you know, like what, what I see some people's work, man, and to me it's just phenomenal, you know. You're one of them, you know. Oh, thanks, man. And, and I see this stuff, and then I, 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 I hear people say stupid shit like, when, when, well, how much does that cost? Well, okay, you got you take into account, say, the, if you do a, a, a kit, whatever the kit costs. Yeah. Figure or whatever. How do you put a price tag? Now, didn't they tell you, oh, I want to paint it like this here, and they give you a picture, okay? So you look at the picture, you say, okay, I can do that, but this is what's going to cost you. And then they look at you like you're crazy, like, what? <laughs> yeah, really. What? You want money for this? And it's like, dude, you don't understand the work that goes into this. I thought it was a hobby for you. I yeah. Was... You think, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. They think you're sitting in your basement doing nothing else but painting. You know, no, dude, this shit costs money, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, I had someone years ago, years, years ago, told me the same thing too. For I mean, I can't remember what it was, but it was a a, a a figure, and it was one of those old monogram monster figures, right? So, so this guy, you know, he, he liked the way I did it, and and I kind of like the same thing too. It's like, uh, you know what? And I was honest with the guy. I don't do this for the money. I do this for the hobby. So if I do it for someone, I'm going to charge you because I'm taking you know time away from me 
because I have a full-time job. And I think it was like four, four or five hundred dollars. And and the guy responded to the thing we do is, oh, you want to charge me that much? But you do it for fun and this and that. And, and I just looked at him and I said, listen, I'm not your grandmother who's going to make you a sweater for free, you fuck. You know, if you want it, you got to pay. It's amazing some That's of the true. <laughs> I've had guys tell me that they'll see something, you know, this the shop that Baltazar and I go to, and the guy will tell me, he says, hey, man, can you paint? We had one, remember that one guy with the tank, Baltazar? Yeah. I had this one guy come up to me and ask me if I would paint his tank. And he had this uh, you know, big, it was a, one of those, uh, what do you call that, the RC tanks, a real big one. Now, this was, what, about a year and a half ago, and I looked at it, and I said, well, sure, I can do it. Well, I was on the phone with him because the owner of the shop says, hey, I got somebody here that will knock that shit out. So I get on the phone with the guy. He's telling me what the tank looks like, and they showed me one because he had just bought it there. So what this guy wanted was he bought it, and it, it had the you know the, the regular uh, German gray, you know, the Panzer gray. He wanted it to look like an Africa Corps tank. So I said, no, hey, I can do that. I said, no problem. He says, well, what is this going to cost me? So I says, well, I'm standing in front of the paint rack right at the, at this hobby store. So I'm thinking, okay, how big is it? He tells me something. In my head, I'm trying to go over paint. I'm going, okay, nine, two, three, four. You know, I'm going over the paint. I'm writing this down as I'm going now. I got him on the phone. So when I got everything done, I said, well, dude, we're looking at about I don't know, $35, $40 in paint. He says, what? I said, yeah. I said, that's on the low end. I said, I haven't even started talking about weathering yet, you know. So he goes, well, what weathering? Okay, well, how much for the weathering? So I'm thinking in my head, and I threw out a number. And he says, what? Again. And, you know, I'm like, by the time everything was said, and then he says, give me a total price on this. I says, you want me to paint that, and you it's a one, you know, real big. You want the tanks all rusty, you know, the tracks rusty. You want all this done. I said, we're looking at about $400, man, $400, $500. He says, are you crazy? I said, well, you can go ahead and get somebody to do it. He said, no. He told me, he says, I can get somebody to do it for $25. And I said to him right then and there, I says, I'll tell you what. If you find somebody that can paint that tank for $25, I'll do it for nothing. Never heard from him. After that, <laughs> you from him again. Well, yeah. No. You know, they don't understand. You know, do or, you know, he could have. You know what, Mike? That's it's, why, that's yeah, why it's, I won't. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 just go ahead you know, and finish your thought. That's why I will not do uh, armies, Warhammer armies. I've had people ask me, and I won't do them. You know, I'm not going to do them for two, two, three dollars a figure that they want, and it's not going to happen. But if they want that, then, then, then go to, the, like, the Philippine uh, dealers, man, that, that uh, painted pigs, man. You know, they'll paint a model there for two dollars. You know what? Not only that. I'm a notoriously slow figure painter. I've been working on this. This right here, I've been working on for the last two weeks, and I just got her skin tone down. So I'm not going to put 10 hours of my work in there to get $2. It ain't going to happen. But they don't understand that, Mike. They don't understand that, you know? Yeah. You know what? They never will because in the end, um, you know, it's a hobby for us, but to them, it's a transaction. And 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 you know, it's just hey. like you go to the mechanic. You know, got to got to got to come. Yeah, yeah, you you gotta hustle. You gotta hustle <laughs> to get the best deal, right? Yeah. You know I mean? But here, I go in to my mechanic you, with a yeah. good, like a breakdown. It's me and my client. It's it's ninety nine dollars. I'll still go in there and say, hey, can you do it for ninety? Even with the coupon. Well, yeah, you're trying to. Yeah, I get it. Sorry. I get it, man. I just I can't see that. 
I mean, you're going to try to get it. Get to be. No, I get it. Right. Probably, you're going to try to get a deal. Yeah. Man, but, you know. Yeah. You know, you know, that's... That's the sad part, you know. I mean, not the sad, but you know, that's you know, you, you know that's part of you know, you, you know, when you deal with anything that's craft related or whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a plan for you. Uh, how late are you going to be? Are, are you going to be out and about today, or are you going to get home? Okay. All right. Let me. Um, am I? Oh, where are you going to be after six? Okay. Okay. Because yeah, I have a few things to, to wrap up. I'll, I'll be out. At, uh, the, everything kind of blew up in my face here today, but uh, but uh, I, I have a so. I don't want. I mean, I, I can get it to you. I, I, I would have to get a judge. Are, are you are you gonna be at the pro tomorrow? Did Johnny get in? Oh. He keeps he keeps okay, What time, are, you know, what time do you want to head out to the uh, show tomorrow? Well, you want to get in there early to get a nice set uh, um, spot at the table, right? All the good. You need to re hey, Baltz, now you need to reload, brother. You're chopping really bad. <laughs> Uh oh, there he goes. Yeah, put me back. He's <laughs> chopping up really bad. Hey, Wayne. Oh yeah. How you doing, buddy? I'm all right. Uh, how are you? Not too bad, I've my friend. See you for a while. Yep, yep. I. Some things here, you know. Well, uh, I'm sitting also tomorrow, so I'll be. Uh, Lots of pictures from the Telford. Oh. Is that tomorrow, Telford? Yeah, there's a most big mall show at Telford, and uh, the strange now, person that? behind is my sister, Stacy. Hello, hello, Stacy. Uh, How are you doing? Uh, that's Gilly's in Chicago somewhere, in America somewhere. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a good guy. I don't get to touch him much because she's on at work at my time. That's quite all right. So, uh, Telford is this weekend, huh? Yeah, it's this weekend. I'm going to. Uh, just Jane is going. It's, uh, and he's got a model kit. He's got a model in the competition. So, I'll go see him, see if I pick up any bargains while I'm there. Yeah. Uh, you're not taking anything in the competition? You're not putting anything in? No, um, I'm not that confident. I'll try and um, I think I'll try a smaller competition and then work my way up to that level. Yeah, I can't hear you, man. You've got a lot of background noise. We can't hear you. I know. Uh, I'm on the open Wi-Fi, so I'm using my mobile as well. Yeah, wherever you're at, you're getting a lot of background noise. Man. That's okay. Yeah, uh, so I'm in a pub, so that's why. That's all right. So you're not putting you're not putting anything in the show. No, uh, I, I start. I'll probably start off with a smaller show and work my way up because it's a big. It's a big show. It's the big show for this country. Right. So, um, I've got some stuff working. Um, I'm just 
I was going to display some stuff with a, uh, one of the groups that go there, but I didn't have anything really ready for the show in time. How about you, John? Are you gonna, how's your back feeling? You're going to make it tomorrow? It's debatable. I've had a rough day today. Yeah. What's going on, Julian? Yeah, it's been pretty bad the last couple of days here for me, bro. Yeah. This weather, man. You know, it's 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 cold one day, it's hot the next. You know. Yeah, it's storming here and it's having havoc on me. Yeah, it's pretty. It's coming through here now. It's starting to the the cloud up real bad. Chug it, chug it. <laughs> I heard you guys talking about painting armies earlier, and that's why I jumped on. Yeah, we were. Now, Michael right there, he's got a, a um, place up in, in Texas where he does stuff. Well, not armies, but he does like commission paint work, you know. That's what we were talking Hey, Wayne, we can't. You, you're coming in really bad, bro. Yeah, I know. I'll have to go anyway because the batch is good. The batch is about to go. Nice seeing you all anyway. Hey, hey have fun tomorrow, man. Yeah, I'll take post, care, I'll man. Get those pictures. Yeah. All right, my friend. I'll, I'll catch you later. All righty. Now, Johnny, are you subscribed to uh, to Michael there, Samurai Geek Designs? You know, I think so. I've seen him before. I've seen his work anyways. He's got oh, some good wow. stuff, man. I know. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I, I never know who's watching my stuff. I see, like, I get maybe 20 views, views on my videos. So it's cool, man. <laughs> he's got some really cool stuff, though, man. I'm surprised, man. That's all. Like, I mean, really? Is yeah, I, 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 I average about 20, 20 views on, on on each video. I, I, I haven't monetized my videos or anything like that. I, you know. Yeah, neither have I. I, I get yeah. smacked around every now and then by the by the YouTube police because I put some music on and they end up monetizing them. There's really nothing I can do unless take I take the music off. But, oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't do it because, I mean, I click through the ads if I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, we're in that day and age now where 30 seconds is almost too long to wait for a video to start. Well, you know what? I, I heard people talking about that the other day, and I just thought, really? You can't wait? Or, or you know what? You try to dress up your video with a, with a nice little opening, and then you get people that complain it's too long. It's like, dude, it was 15 <laughs> seconds. You know? Yeah. Well, those are the guys that are like waiting. Yeah, I mean, well, they're the ones who are standing in front of the microwave, like, like angry, you know, that, that their burrito isn't ready well, in like yeah, three it's seconds. Like, really, man, you can't wait 15 seconds? You know? <laughs> Things to do, man. Things to do. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's just, it's like, wow. You If you can't wait 15 seconds, yeah. man, Jesus. So, talk about some, talk about instant gratification, huh? Now, you know, I'll watch oh, the video. It? What I do is, is is when I'm sitting here, I'll put I'm so far behind right now in watching these guys' videos. So I'm trying to catch up. So what I do is I just you know how that little thing's got that loop and if you got your subscription feeds on there, I just put it on there and then I'll listen, you know. And then I'll turn to look, and then after it's done, I'll comment mm -hmm. a little bit. You know, I don't try to write a big book like, "Hey, nice, nice job" or something. But Jesus, man, when you're trying to catch up with 500 videos that you haven't, you know, I've been, I've been away from the because I had some things happening here that I had to take care of that I didn't have time to watch videos. Man, I got about 50 yeah. videos that I, I need to catch up on. Man, it's like I can't. It's never gonna happen. You know? Yeah. Kind of like, hey, so some of these guys need to slow down on their bench so I can catch up. Yeah, really, isn't it? Nah. But there's some people there that, you know, you, you end up becoming close with and you just want to let them know that, hey, dude, I support you, you know? I mean. Yeah. Hey, Gil. Uh, I mean, yes, sir. I didn't do it, really. That invite you sent me brought me to the hangout screen where the big green circle is. Are you kidding me? And it wouldn't let me get in. I had to go to Baltazar's link. There's got to be, you know what? Yeah, there's got to be something wrong with with what's going on. With I, I'm, I might have to uninstall it and then reinstall it. You know what I mean? Because there's something wrong here. Um, 
the last couple of hangouts that I've done, it's it's it won't. I can see you guys. You know how you get, you put that drop down menu to, to send right. somebody an invite. I go to do that. I put your name in there, but it won't let me send the invite. So I think so, I think a link is broke on this or something. So I'm gonna have to delete it and then reinstall it. You know. Because the invite you sent to my name went to the circle, but I couldn't get in. But bought the bar, bought the link let me right in. How about the one that did you see the one on, on Facebook that wouldn't let you guys in either? I went to the uh, okay. Google okay. Plus page. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on. I think something uh something's act you know something got what a link or something got broke on this thing, and I'm gonna have to figure it out. Oh. Uh -oh. Because it's never done that. You know what else too? It makes me jump. It makes me go to three or four different pages to do a hangout now. Wow. Whereas before you'd go to hangout and then you drop down and you go all the way down and it says start a hangout. Now it gives me this page and says hangout and I go to hit the hangout and it only let me do the people in my circles. So I have to get out of that page and go into another page. So maybe that's what's going on. I'll check out. I'll check it out. Oh, hey, guys, I have to run. I need to go uh, run some errands uh, this afternoon, but uh, it was good finally getting in here, man. Hey, talk Michael, to some of you guys. So. Talking to you, brother. have to make it really good talking to you. Um, when I head down there, man, I'll, I'll drop you a little <laughs> message on, on, uh, on, on YouTube or on Facebook, one of the two. I'll drop you a message, man. Maybe yeah, we'll yeah, we'll have, yeah, we can hook up, have lunch or something. Yeah, we'll hang in, man. Be, it'll All be right. fun. Right, Thanks brother. a lot, Gilbert. It was good meeting everyone. Yeah, we'll Take care, and, Mike. Uh, like I said, I have to make it more of a hat. You guys take care. You too, brother. I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I think one of the actual links is broke. Like now, I just sent Henry Leonard one, and they let me put it in there. And then I typed your name in, and it won't let me put it in there. Are you using my real name or Johnny's? No, Johnny's Chop Shop, because that's the way I got it. It'll send you there, right? That's what I've always used. Whatever I, I have to go. I think something. I think there's a link broke on here. I just sent Mel one too, uh, Terrain Tutor, and it, 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 apparently he didn't get it either. Hey B, you got to check out some of that uh, Mike's work though, man. He does some really cool stuff, man. And you know what the cool thing, the cool thing about that? He's, he, he carved himself out a little niche on what he does, you know? Oh, where the hell is Balt? Balt has disappeared again. Lock up on me. He doesn't like me. Yeah, no, he's having fun. There he is. You got Henry. Hey, Gil. Henry, what's going on, my friend? Not much. How are you? Ah, same old, same old, brother. Just, just hanging here, man. Just trying to catch up with all these videos and trying to get back to everybody. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just you know I, I I hope you know I I was I, slowly but surely I'm trying to let everybody know. Look, I wasn't I wasn't avoiding you guys. I just had to take care of business here, you know. Well, hey, I hear that. I hear that. Did you, so catch, you, did you catch the video on the twi on the trading stashes? Yes, I saw it, and I also um I also linked it. Um, I let you know when you remember when you said the the Styri Syndicate. I left it on there. That's okay. You can do that, bro. That, that's no biggie. Uh, just figured I'd, I'd send you the, the heads up that I put. No, I, I appreciate that, man. Now, thank you. But yeah, no, no, no. I mean, you, it's not like you're, 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 you just, you know, that's trading stashes is one thing, you know. Um, that's cool. That, that, I, I got no problem with that. I'm sure nobody else does either. So. Uh, I got, I traded out some of them. The, the trailers are gone. Uh, one of the vets is gone. The Harleys are gone. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Let me answer the phone here real quick. What's up, Boulder Czar? What's going on, buddy? How are you? Good. How are you? 
Uh, how's everything from the operation? I know you had it a while oh, back. Man. Is everything okay? I, I, That's good. Good for you. Good for you. Here, I'll give you a quick heads up on my uh, progress. Oop, rear end just fell out, but I can give you a quick heads up. Okay. Oh, sweet, dude. It's got a nice little stance on it, too. Oh, man. Looks like the stance on this thing is awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me throw the did rear end back in there. Did you cut the, uh, the cab? Looks like it's chopped. Oh, the, you get it chopped? Chopped ain't the word for it, dude. Look at that. That's the original. Okay, give me a second. Let me put this rear end on. And I'll put the camera down. <laughs> Brian, old guys and their computers, good grief. Kiss my ass, Brian. Yeah, something's yes, going on. yes it's 18 plus, so you guys can swear. It's 18 plus. I made sure I did that. Hey, can you guys hear me fine, Gil? Yeah, I can hear you. The, the fuck I'm asking all these questions you ain't answering. Well, dude, you you're chopping up, man. Boulders are. Go ahead. Oh, dude, that looks sweet. Check it out, Gil. Yeah, I like the, I like the way he's got that that stance. Yep. What questions are you asking? I didn't hear no questions. I was asking the questions on the uh, on the freaking info. I didn't hear those. Yeah. I didn't hear no freaking questions. Yeah, we didn't hear no freaking questions. Uh, well, those are the tops chopped about four millimeters. Dude, yeah, it looks like you you get something different with the with the truck bed, right? Because the truck bed looks a little higher. The truck bed chopped. It's well, it's it's widened and uh, yeah, I I have <laughs> done a lot to this, man. Uh, it's it's ridiculous the difference in this one. Well, well, those are. That's how the, the original truck tread was. Cool. Mm -hmm. I uh, it's an inch and a half or a half inch longer and a, probably a quarter, about a quarter inch wider. I had to do that so the tires fit under it. Yeah, what type of engine you're gonna call it? Here you go. Okay. That is cool. You know, this, the frame's all scratch. Front end's all scratch done. Um I got a 426 in me under the hood that I'm still working on. I mean, it's coming. It's getting there slowly but surely. Yeah, but it's going to look nice when you're done with it. Yeah, I'm thinking about sending it out to yeah. Chris Chapman to do the paint job on it. What are you going to do, it, uh, Rusty? or? It's going to be a combination of rust. Well, here's here's one. Yep. I'm going to have something like this. With this kind of painting on the bottom. Uh, so the bottom half is going to be like this, the, paint, the weather is blue. Right. With the rusty crust on the top like this. Now, have you, I mean, you could, you, you've you never done it yourself? No. Okay. I'm pr I'm sure I could do it, but Chris Chapman's willing to help me with it. Chris, Chris oh, and sure. I are friends. We talk all the time. Cool. So. Yeah, he does some nice, uh, some nice uh, rusty. Oh yeah, he's really good at it. So, uh, for the trailer trade, I got three kits for two trailers. For the low boy trailer and the box trailer, was, there was no box to it. Uh -huh. I got the 66 uh, Chevrolet wagon. No box for that. Was one of them. I got the 72 Pontiac TTO. Yeah, those, those are the ones you got left, you said, right? No, these are what I got for the trading for the, for the wagon. Oh, okay. For the trailers. Oh, that's a nice one. That's 72. Yep. And I got this. Sweet. So I got three pits for the two trailers. Cool. The problem with the with the wagon, 
is the one set of the back of rims for the for the tires or nothing. But I'll figure out something. Well, dude, that big ass box of tires you got? Yeah, but these are these are different rims. It's not. Oh. The, it's the chrome backer. I got you. The tires are here. It's these. Oh, okay, okay. It's got the, the, the brake calipers and they're open rim. I don't have any of those. Ah. So, yeah. I'm actually got another one of those kits to here tomorrow. So I'm just going to write to Ravel and say, hey, look, I just got the kit and missing the rim. Yeah, why not? You know, I know they're going to ask for new PC, so when I get it, I'll get it. Sure. <laughs> so I already got a couple ideas for that. So. so Chris Chapman got the, the bagger. The 112 bagger I had. Oh, you traded for the bagger? Well, actually, um, Dale, um, Dale, um, what's his? What's yeah, his yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, Elliot. Elliot. Elliot wanted the the chopper I had, the Purple Phoenix. Uh huh. So I sent him that. He sent me the, the Nova, uh, the 56 Nova, not the Pro Speed, the one just before the Street Machine. Right. And a 50, 1950s carry pickup. Cool. Me and Chris, the bagger, and him, the other chopper. <laughs> it all works now. That'll work. Oh, hey, yeah. As long as everybody's happy, right, bro? Oh, that's it. That's it. That's all that matters. As long as everybody's happy with the trade. Oh, I'm happy with it. If you guys want the, the military stuff, let me know, because that, that stuff's still sitting there. All right, let, I'm going to go look at that video again, because I glanced at it while I was eating dinner, so I'm going to go take a look at it and see what I got. What, what are you willing to treat? You want cars, right? I prefer cars, yeah. I'm not really, I'm not really into military, so. Okay. There's, no, I'm uh, saying you, you want to trade for cars is what you want to trade for. Cars or trucks. Okay. Um, I like the pro streets. I like, I like anything prior... From twenty, from twenty-seven to twenty to seventy-five. Yeah. Hey, uh, did you put it up on uh, on on my Facebook, the Red Dragon Model Works? Put it up there. Okay. You know, um, I don't care if you do that. Just you know, just drop me a, a message. Say I'm gonna put these up there. That's all. Just as long as I got a heads up. Okay. So because because usually what happens is the people that I got that um uh, that are my, um that are doing the moderation for me, if they see stuff like that. And I don't tell them to keep an eye on not to do it. They'll just they'll get rid of it, and then I gotta go back and say, oh no no no, you could you could that guy was cool. Don't worry about it. So you go ahead and do that, and I'll let I'll let my daughter and then my, my son-in-law know not to get rid of it. Okay. So, yeah, you can you can put that up, bro. Because there's there's some armor builders there that might trade with you, you know. All right, that works. Yeah. Well, no. like I said I don't want to go ahead and step on anybody's toes. That's why when I before as I posted it I. Message you right away because it's like, hey Henry, if you want to trade kits and you want to you, you want to post it there, you go ahead and do it, man. I know I know who you are and I know it's I'm, I know you're not trying to shine. You know, you go ahead and do it. And, and no, I'm I'm a straight I'm a straight up dealer, man. That's what I'm saying. I know that, so you go ahead and do it, bro. Just All don't right. just don't put it on the syndicate. Put it on Red Dragon Model Works. Yeah, I wouldn't put it on the syndicate. Yeah. Now that's why I said to you when I put it on the on the syndicate page I'm, that I posted it there and I let you know right away. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're trading. Yeah, I just don't want to do it on the Facebook page because there's there's other considerations there with other people. Well, that's, that's just it. Well, because I told other people they couldn't do it, and if I they see me letting you do it, then they're gonna be like, well, you you told me I couldn't, but he can, so let, okay. I want to keep. I want yeah. Hey, I want to keep those. Yeah, because there's other people involved in that, and I want to keep it separate, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I want to understand that. Yeah. So, but, yeah, you can put it on mine. You're more than welcome to put it on mine. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I, I, when I got done editing, I'm like, 25 minutes. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Like I said, I was going through it while I was eating, uh, and I was seeing you had a lot of stuff you were trying to get across, you know, so. Exactly. There was. There was, there was a lot of stuff. Yeah, and, and it, it, so far it seemed uh, it seemed pretty good. They got what they wanted. You got what you wanted. Yeah. You know, that I got no problem with that, man. That's, that, that's what makes the community move, man, you know. Right. 
Well, I might go back and redo it because the things that have gone, you know, I to redo it. But, hey, I mean, I can go and edit it out, but like, like trying to find that same spot and edit those pieces out. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. So how's, uh, how's everything going with you? How's Mama? How are you doing? Uh, Mama's good. She had a doctor's appointment today. She missed her GPS. She always screws her up. Uh-huh. Even though she had the regular GPS in the car. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Uh, I'm doing well. My hands are great, man. I mean, the surgery was fantastic. Um, so I'm I'm actually putzing with this thing a little at a time because other other life considerations always jump in the way, you know. Of course, of course. <laughs> but um, I'm doing well. Good going? for you, man. Good to hear. I mean, the daughter came out this past week. We had a good time met her boyfriend. And awesome. We had a good, good good time with her. Good. Um, in the in the in the military, there's a tank. I have three planes and a boat. Yeah, I mean, you never know, man. Put it up there and see what happens, you know? Because I know you deal with a lot of guys that like the military stuff, so... Dude, you know what, Howard? <laughs> Someone asked me the other day to try to classify what kind of a modeler I was, and I started laughing, dude. I said, dude, if it's on a sprue, if it's a figure, whatever it is, I'll build it. I don't care, you know? I'm not a, you know, so... But, yeah, there are some a lot of armor builders there, so... Yeah. You're like me. Yeah, just like you got, Johnny. I'm like a squirrel. If it's shiny, I build it, man, you know? <laughs> well, I'm like a slut. If it makes me happy, I do it. There you go, brother. There you go. Well, one of the things I want to do is I want to get the uh, the, the rubber molding compound. Uh -huh. uh, I've actually been thinking about taking that rear tub out of the, the Nova and molding that. Oh, that'd be sweet. Because you know how many people use just that rear tub for, for street, street machines? I know somebody who bought seven of those just for that rear tub. Right. And you know how much money I can make with just that rear tub and rear end? Yep. If, if I molded that rear tub, the rear end, and the tires all in one. Just about everybody I know has, has and even I, have chopped that, that kit up just for those tires. Kept the tires. Those tires are great. I love right. those tires. Right. You know? But, but that you, know, rear tub. you know what I'm saying? How much I how much I could do with just that rear tub, either well, that or the one out of the the rat, the max rat. Yep. You know, if I molded those those two rear ends in rub in the rubber compound, you know, I, I, and, and turned around and sold them for ten bucks or fifteen bucks a piece. You know how many people I'd have banging on my door? It's cheaper than buying the damn kit. Exactly. The, the kit's 25 bucks. Yep, yep. It, it, and you know what? I've seen it at, at I've seen it at Hobby Lobby, man, and every time I see it there, somebody's grabbing all of them. Just for that rear end. Yeah, I mean, Baltazar, you went in there that one time to look for, remember I told you there was like four or five of them in there, and I picked it up, and that night he went in there, and they were all gone. Which on the uh, 66 Nova? Yeah, the Nova, the Pro Street Nova. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking about molding that rear end. Yep. I mean, the, the, the rear end, the, the whole nine yards, the tires, all in one kit, not in one casting, but tire, molding the cat, the tires, the rear end, the axles, the, the, the whole the whole setup. Yep. Not all as separate pieces, but you know how many people I'd have banging on my door for that thing? Yep. Yeah, that the thing you'll have to be mindful on that one is just how much of the casting is going to cost. Yep. Uh, let's say, let's say you can sell the, the castings for ten, twelve dollars. I can make it smaller, right? But if you're going to spend time and material and you're up at about twenty dollars, then people are just going to come get you. Know what I mean? So those are things you're going to have to balance out. Well, it, 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 if I'm doing it in the mass, I can probably get the price down. You know, if I'm, if I'm, the more you buy, the lower the cheaper the price. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm just kidding. Yep. So it's one of those. So I, def I definitely want to do something for myself. So let me flip the camera around and I'll just give you a quick, quick picture of my stash. Yo. Yo. Very small. 
There you go. Damn, dude. So, there's a few kits that I want to uh, make pro streets up. I got up here. Up here. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're older kits. I'd like to make pro streets out of them. So. How long you been? How long you been collecting those, uh, Howard? Oh, hell. Some of these kits have to be back to the seven. Like this one. This I think I believe this is an original. Um, you can't see the top of the box, but I believe this is an original Tom Daly Daniels. Oh, cool! Hey, Dustin, what's going hey, on? You know, brother? What's happening, brother? Hey, it's good to see you, man. How you been? Not too bad. Yourself? Not bad. Not bad. Hanging in there. I hear you, brother. What are you What are you doing today? Oh, trying to get off work as early as possible, and. Uh, I'm working on a diorama. Just drawing a sketch out right now. What's it gonna be, dude? You, you uh, might... industrial lot, uh, brick building. You can have a couple garage doors. Oh, cool. Uh, an old, an old back basketball backboard on the building and stuff like that. Something just to have as a backdrop to the models when I take pictures and stuff. Cool, cool. All oh, scratch built, huh? It's all gonna be scratch built too, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I've got, uh, I've just got foam board and you know balsa wood, and uh, I'll have a few tires from kits that I can throw in the alleyway. It's kind of a tin can alley look, you know. Uh huh. But uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, I probably bite off more than I can chew, but I'll I'll chew through it. <laughs> there you go, brother. There you go. What, what are you working on, Gil? Well. Here, let me switch the camera around. I'll show you guys. Um, I got this little, I, well, some of everything, but I didn't feel like figure painting today, so I got this little dust tactic thing that I'm just putting some streaks on there. Oh, cool. You've been working on that. Huh? Yeah, I painted it, and then I put it off to the side, and I, I, I'm going to see if I can get it done tonight so I can take it to a show tomorrow, but I doubt it. But, you know, I, I just, I'm not in the mood to, to bust out all the paints and everything, so... I just grabbed it. I got the Tidarium shuttle here, and I'm waiting for that for the for the clear to dry, so I can go in and start doing all the weathering on that. So that's what I'm going to do today. Since I got my my oils out, I'll start just things that needed weathering. Work on those today. You know. But yeah, that's about what I'm doing. That's that's about it. You know. Hey, Gil, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. How many model shows do you have in your state a year? Oh jeez, hey, uh, that'd be Baltazar. What do you What do you think, bro? Um, well, you got uh, two of them up in Crystal Lake that happen twice a year. Then uh, you have the Butcho Hair. You have the, uh, the MMSI. I mean, you're looking at a good four to five, or four to six, I should say. Wow, that's in the Chicagoland area. I mean, that's not even counting anything. Downstate or anywhere. I see. That's not even counting like the one in in Wisconsin, right? Right. Right. I mean, so you know, like Wisconsin. I mean, you guys built it about an hour drive away. Yeah, because I know that uh, the one that's going to be this weekend, Dustin, is a uh, for us. It's a it's a nice one, you know. It's a it's a it's one of the oldest ones. From what I, I gather, what is it, the 30 something annual one or something, Baltazar? Yeah, 30, 30, 30, 30. yeah, it's been around for a long time. Um, it's a nice show. Uh, what's cool about it, too, is the vendors are pretty cool. Yeah, I've been looking around just to see a show to go to, but uh, I don't know. the. I'm in the middle of nowhere between like Bigfoot and DB Cooper. Uh huh. So yeah, I can I can head north towards I can go out towards Seattle, which is about seven hours by car. Right. Uh, Salt Lake is about oh five and a half hours probably. Oh, well, Salt Lake will have some tools for sure. Yeah, I, I want to check. I'd like to even if it's a road trip, I wouldn't mind uh, going to one sometime in the future. Yeah. 
And we did have one here in Boise, but I just it was too late before I found out about it. They do a lot of uh, they had actually a lot of sci-fi stuff at that one. Yeah, see, those are they, they got that big one in Kentucky. Um, um, what is it? Uh, Wonderfest. Yeah, Wonderfest. Now that one's the one I want to go to. That's a freak show. Yeah. <laughs> now you've been there, Johnny? Many a times, my friend. Yeah, that's the one I heard, man. Uh, you better you better bring a good uh, a good amount of cash with you when you go to that one because you'll be broke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been asked to leave that one a couple of times. Yeah, I see all the stuff like that Lou Del Masso, he ends up bringing back with him, man. He'll have a whole bunch of really cool stuff that he brings back, you know. But I went there with a couple of guys, and they spent four or $500 on their resin kit and never flinched. I couldn't believe it. Wow. On one kit? On one kit. Yeah. That's crazy. And I said, I'm running with the wrong guys here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I talked to a friend of mine. Um, now he he builds in his basement, but the, the dude really good, really nice, you know, dude. And he builds some beautiful stuff. But he he told me, man, he he probably dumps about anywhere between four and five grand every time he goes down there. I can see that no problem. Oh, wow. and and he says he could spend more, but his wife won't let him. And you know what? He's re he's retired, you know, and. And I'm like, well, dude, you know, he's already in his, like, mid-70s. I'm like, how the hell are you going to build all these? Yeah. They go to the grave with him. Yeah, but he's got some really, <laughs> really nice resin kits, man. Beautiful stuff, you know. You get a resin tombstone. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think I'm going to – you know which one I, I, I've been eyeballing is that one that everybody's doing uh, from Pegasus. Is it Pegasus, that uh, that, that pod from uh, from Aliens? Or not from Aliens, from uh, 2001? Oh, no, no, you're talking about that one that, they, uh, that they're that they selling. It's, it's like their own design. Yeah. Randy Cook design. I don't know which the Mars hopper. I like that, though. No, yeah. also – but you also have that one from 2001, the one that Lou Del Masso just finished. Oh, yeah, but that's not Pegasus. That's just the resin kit. Oh, okay. I, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. The Pegasus one is the one from uh, Randy Cooper design. Yeah, yeah. That one's nice, too. I mean, I mean, it's a lot of model for your money, man. I mean, it's it's, it's $224, but that fucking thing's easy. Yeah. It's a nice kit, man. You know which one I, I would like to get my hands on, and I, I was looking at it. But man, I just you know it's uh, I think uh, Starship Modeler had it. I think um, the one from the Firefly from the series. Oh yeah, they still have it. And then I like the I like those ships that they got there from the movie Avatar, the helicopters. Oh yeah, that's um, that's fan fantastic plastic. Right. Those are nice too. Yeah. I still want to get that, uh, the cane from round two. I thought you picked it up. No, not yet. Man. If I didn't have this show this week, I would have bought it. See, this whole time I thought you had it. No, no. I I want to get it, but I won't get it till probably uh, the end of the month. Are you going to light it up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So, you guys, I got a question for you on those shows you go to. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, how are how are the deals when you go there? Uh, do you find you get some things good deals, or are some guys charging more than if you just went online? Or well, is it a crapshoot? It's a crapshoot, to be honest with no. you. I mean, I would say, look, it it really depends on the shows you go to. The the uh, good thing about some of the smaller shows, mm -hmm. and 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 the longer running shows, is that you have people that are selling their own collections. So you're gonna pick up oh, wow. huge freaking deals, man. Huge deals. Like I would say, more than like like sixty percent out of my stash 
I bought at shows, and I paid anywhere from from forty to sixty percent of the price that you would pay from somewhere else. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's, you can find yeah. some hard to use or hard to find stuff too. I imagine so, you know, like if it's a kid built in the seventies or. All right, all right. Now, now you have to be careful though because if you look well, here, at the vendor section you have people that are selling their own their own stash, and then you have stores that also have their own tables. The stores you may or may not save money. You know what I mean? Like the butcher here has always been good. You 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 will typically save money. Okay. Then you have like, certain stores like uh, was it the uh, U U U M, yeah. which great prices on their tools, but the kits are going to be a little bit expensive. Okay, um, but for the most part, if if you go to a show where they allow people to, to sell their own stashes, you're going to save a lot of money. If you go to a show where it's only stores that have their tables, you're not going to save that much money because remember. They have to pay all their overhead. It's a business for them. It's not someone that has a thousand kids and, and, and their wife tells you, you know what, you, you need to get rid of half of that shit or you're out to school. Right. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I just wondered about that, you know, because I, whether I've, I've done the, I've got a local eBay seller that I kind of have good luck with, uh, you know, and he goes to estate sales and then I kind of buy locks from him sometimes. Like if he has four, I might get it for 25 bucks. Um, but I, yeah, I was just curious about how how that worked at, at, at those shows because I know I was wondering if you know some people were kind of gouging like they'd put higher prices on it. Some do, some do. I mean, you know what? Like you know, there's one guy who's 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 fucking nuts, man. You know, like you know he'll yeah. he'll have a kit that that you can buy for for twenty dollars and he's gonna have a hundred dollars on it. And he's gonna say, this is the original boxing. It still has all the same decals, and I've never opened it. And it's like, okay, listen, I'm not buying to collect. I'm going to buy to build it. And more than likely, right. the decals are shit now anyway because you've had it in the same box for 40 fucking years. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> that cracks me up. Yeah. But you always get that. Yeah. You got to know, know your market, know your budget. You can usually get good deals from the the dealer selling the state sales stuff. Just make sure to open the box and make sure everything's there. Yeah. Because you might get a good deal on a kit and it'll get it home and have it it's gone. It's missing the hood and the tires. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've had that problem too. Uh, Gil, are you getting in on the ten Tom Danielson build? No, I got too many. I got to finish here. I might. When when does it end? It, there is no end date. The start date is tomorrow, but there is no end date. It's an open end build. Well, well, okay. That makes that well, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, and you can do any any one of the seventy five or eighty kits that Tom Danielson built, created. Cool. So, I mean, it could be any of his kits. I mean, this is actually a Tom Danielson kit, even though it's it's not on the list. Right. Still a Tom Danielson kit because it's actually the Street Fighter. Even though it's the bad actor, it's the Street Fighter. No kidding. I mean, yeah, well, you know, that gives me uh, something to look for tomorrow then because I, I, I was thinking about it, and then I thought, man, I got too many I got to finish here, and I still even, I haven't even started my, my cancer awareness build. I have. I still have to work on finish mine from last year. Yeah, I got to do my cancer awareness bill, man, because I like to uh, I like to, to support that one, you know. So yeah, I I got to get on the ball with that one. Yeah, well, I got to get on mine from last year, but I I want to get the I want to get the fifty five done first. Yeah. But um, yeah, the Tom Danielson build that's pretty much open ended. He they never did put a finish date on it, so they're leaving it pretty much wide open for you got for anybody. Cool. It's kind of what I'm at. I'm gonna shop around and see if I find one that catches my eye, and if I do, I'll get it. Well, you're gonna be there tomorrow, right? Uh, yep. Okay, cool. I'll be yeah. heading up in about ten hours. Let's head up that way. Cool. Now you've been to it, hey Bob. You've been to this one before, haven't you? No. So it's a it's a nice show. It's a nice show. Well, you bring it. You bring some of your planes. Yeah, I'm bringing uh 
the, uh, the duck and the kingfisher and the fire flash. Then I think I'm going to bring that uh, Del Rio ranch wagon I just did for the cancer boat. Sweet. What time are you going to uh, be there? Uh, I'm leaving about near midnight, so I'll get there. I'll get there about 8 o'clock. Shit, you just said you're going to leave at midnight? How long is the drive? It's about a six hour drive. But at that time, you stop and get gas and go pee a couple times and stop and eat breakfast. And I'll roll in there between 7 and 8. <laughs> early bird thing is what, 8 o'clock or something like that? Um, yeah, I think if you pay extra, you're getting there at 8. But I'm going to try. I mean, what time do, do you want to get there, Bill? Because if we get there, the regular at 9 a.m. Yeah. Oh, we, we can get there at 9. Let's go have some breakfast and then we'll head out there. Sweet. All right. You can pick up some deals, man. I'm a... Here, like this this show, Dustin, this is easy to show where if if you take 60 bucks, you'll wind up. If you're into cars, you can pick up a lot of cars from, you know, five to eight miles. Holy cow. You know. Well, my shopping list is mainly paints. Yeah. Oh, you'll find that there, too. Yeah. You'll find paints. Tools, uh, a ton of old uh, photo etch. And then Where's that show at? My eye. It's in um, it's it's in the Chicago area. It's just outside Chicago. I'm gonna have to fly in there and see you guys sometime and go to a show. You can have a ball, bro. Yep. Yeah. It'll be fun. I've never been to Chicago, so it'll be a new are, trip. Are any of you guys going to the NNL least this year, next year? I was thinking about it. I'm going. I'm definitely going to make it down there. See, my thing is, I wouldn't mind, but i got to find something for my wife to do and the kid. You know, I give it out me. Maybe I'll give them, like, a ticket to Disney and say, look, you guys are going to go to Disney. I'm going to Wonderfest. There you go. There you go. It's one day in Wayne, New Jersey, man. Uh, well, what? I don't know if I would to Jersey. I don't know. You know what? I would go to the Jersey Fest. The Wayne, the Wayne there was the thirtieth anniversary, the thirtieth one. Actually, if you get a hold of them on their website, they're actually willing to send you out this. What is it? Oh, decals. Oh, that's cool. And their and their theme is any cars from the thirties. That's cool. So Well that's in your backyard too, man. It's it's about a two hour drive from here. You know the the, the, the best show that I've ever been to was uh, back in the nineties. I went to uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Wow. It's about it's about a four and a half hour drive from 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 Chicago, from from where I'm at, but it's in an air zoo. So this air zoo is basically just a flight museum. So they have World War One planes, World War Two jets. Um, so it's awesome because it's 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 like a um, it, it's it's an air museum, but they have the show inside there. So not only do you have like the vendor section set up there and the, you and the whole atmosphere. You yeah. can go around and see all the models. And when when, when we were there, they, they had pilots that were there. So the pilots would, would, would take a certain section where they would talk about some of their missions and whatnot and about flying certain planes. And and like you had Vietnam pilots there, you had um, some, some World War II pilots there. And not only that, but then they had a, a group that actually went into the back and would actually see some of the planes being restored. That'd be cool. That'd be really neat. Now that was cool, man. They don't have it there anymore. I mean, they still have the the, the show, but it's not at the airs anymore. Yeah. That was cool. It sounds like it would have been a nice one. <coughs> Hey, Chris. Hey, brother. You over? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how are you? 
Not too bad. How you been, bro? I've been hanging in there. Same old for you. Yeah. What are you working on? Um, a couple things. I'm working on the Barracuda, the Pike, the Girl. How's, how's the girl coming along? Pretty good? Yeah, she's coming along pretty good. I really haven't, uh, I haven't gotten around to getting any paint on it. I mean, she's ready for paint. That's just, well, as far as I can see. I thought I'd try to get the bike from this one's finished and then look at my hand. So, how, did, uh, how are you feeling though? How's the health? Everything okay? The doctors give you any any other news? No, uh, they actually bumped my surgery up. Uh, I wanted to have this surgery. We finally did this surgery one day at one time. Uh -huh. But the hospital says, no, we can't do that. <laughs> so, they want to take the surgery up. Into um, three different surgeons. Right. So the first surgery I'm holding, and uh, next to <coughs> surgery on my neck, and then I'll put a bone next to me, and then whatever they find on my neck, and then we'll turn that up and be with this spine on the wall. It's just a waiting game. Yeah, yeah, that's got to be the hard part is the waiting game, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But, uh, you know, I've been through this. This will be the second time I've been through this crap. So, you know, I kind of know what to expect, and, and uh, you know, it'll be all good. You know? Now, how long are they, hey, Chris? How long are they planning on keeping you there for this 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 surgery that they're doing now? Uh, the surgery that they're doing now, it's kind of like the same day kind of surgery. Uh huh. And when they for the lung, it'll probably be at least a week. I'll be in the hospital. And then I'll be off the roof in you know, eight to ten weeks, I believe. Wow. So, you know, it just depends on how much my lung they take. Right, right. And how long I'm on the well, they still have to biopsy that one once they get it out, right? Right. Yeah, it's still going to do that. Right. Pretty much. Well, yeah. the well, the other one that you said the other one came back, uh, it was okay. It's the one in the lung that you're worried about, right? Yeah, the one in the neck, this came back in the places. I still don't know what to do. Right. So, you know, whatever, whatever the neck ends up being, you know, that will determine what to do with the lung. You think the one on the lung is a new thing. You don't think it's a new thing. But he doesn't want to do anything until you find out. Well, hey, brother, if you need anything, you let us know, bro. Seriously, anything, you know. Oh, we're good. I mean, it's the first time in the fancy room. We'll go through and get back to you. I hear you. Well, it's good to see you, though, man. It's really good to see you. I feel honored. I got, I got the mystic. Mr. Chris here, man. Mr. Classic Plastic showed up, man. I'm not worried. Don't have to too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. No, no, no. Yeah, we got it. I was sitting around working on the Barracuda, and I saw your link. I thought, what's the name? It's about time. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see you, though, man. It really is good to see you, though. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Awesome to have you, buddy. So I see you got I see you got another group build jumping up on your Facebook page there, huh? Yeah, you know that the Tom Daniel one? Yeah. Um me and Dirk was just talking and a couple other guys were just talking about the other Tom Daniel and just kind of awesome that. So yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find one tomorrow. We got this uh, show coming. I'm gonna see if I can find one of those kids so I can get in on that. We were just talking about that with yes, Henry. Just brought that up. Yeah, Henry was <laughs> letting us know about it because I did. I, I'm trying to catch up with it, and I watched the the. I, you know, I'm following it on Facebook. Yeah. And I was, you know, I, I was like, man, that'd be cool to get into because I've seen some really nice, you know, bills out of these come out of these, you know. Yeah, the top, yeah. I mean, yeah, but I thought, man, I got so much on my desk here. And then Henry says, no, nah, there ain't no end date. I said, well, shit, that, that makes it a lot easier for me then, you know? For real. <laughs> I mean, you know, you start, 
Yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, that's the one Henry. That's the one Henry's gonna do right there. Let's see, Henry. I was the one who asked about this one first. Sure. Yeah, cool. I also have this one. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do yet. I don't see the trouble when you get two more. I don't see that one often. Yeah, I know. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do yet. Yeah. Yeah. I might do them both. I don't know yet. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'm gonna do that uh, Ramos. Ramos ride. I gotta come. That's a cool ride, the Ramos one. Yeah. What, what does it look like? Hey, Bob, uh, yeah, get it. Let me see it. Yeah, it's like a half track. Well, figures are skeletons. Yeah, that really gets me. Too. Hey, it's the one that hey, the one that uh, uh, what's his name did uh, with the with the uh, with the skeletons and stuff that he did yeah. that diagram. Is that a Tom Daniels one? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, look it is. Ramos Rod. I've seen that one too. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Oh, that is cool. Um, so when you start that one this weekend? Starts tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna find one. I'm gonna find me one. I'm sure I'll find one at the show tomorrow. If not, I can just always go on eBay or Amazon and find one. Yeah, they're pretty hard to find. Yeah. Well, oh, I've seen them. I just, you know, now that uh, I don't have to worry about a a a thirty day window here. Yeah, Cool. That'll work. Yeah. Hey man. The the only thing I finish in thirty days is is, is not pissing off my wife. Dude, I've been painting this little figure girl for thirty days, man. I'm still not done with her. <laughs> Oh, I've been working on the 55 for four months now. Yeah, I was going to say, you've been working on that for a while, but I like the way you got that sitting down, man, that low pro on That looks good. I like that. Yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm actually really happy with that, too, myself, man. Yeah, you, you did a good job on that, bro. You, uh, you know, Go like this here, man, because it looks good, you know? <laughs> hey, for my first for my first ever scratch build, yeah, I'm done really freaking good on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You did a nice job on it. Yeah, I mean, this freaking Barnabas been pissing me off. Now what, the hands? Yeah, you know what? I don't like the hands. I'm going to I'm gonna clean up the hands, fill up a couple spots, and make them look like it has black gloves on them. What's wrong with the hands? They just not molded right? Uh, you know what? One of them is molded kind of funky. I don't want to be playing with it too much. I'm going to try and finish it tonight. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, fill it up and sand that stuff down and, you know, kind of get, like, the, the, the fingernail tips out, fill them in, just to look like he has black gloves on, which I think it's more more suited for him anyway. You know what I'm going to try to find tomorrow is some Zots for the eyes or the archers. Yeah. Oh, they'll have them. Yeah, I'm going to try to find some. Because you know what? I, I don't mind painting them myself, but I'm getting to that point now where my eyesight ain't as great as it used to be. So I, <laughs> I sure don't want to sit there, man, and have to put an optimizer with a 10 zoom on it, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got one here, man. With all those, you got to put it in there, and it looks like he's right here, you know? I just like the convenience of it, man. I don't want to be painting all, you know, and then you mess it up, and you got to repaint it again, then do it again, then repaint it. Well, you could touch them up, and that's cool. I just, you know, I, I like the way they, they look, you know? Yeah. Um, and like you said, the convenience of it, you know? Yeah. Cause we're lazy, man. Yeah, because the older I get, the more I'm into that convenience. I mean, I'll still make my own stuff, certain things here and there, but you know what? You start getting into that convenience a little bit. I'm going to start working with some of those like Chris does, you know, the craft acrylics. 
Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, man. These damn paints are costing me a fortune. You know what I like are these here. These here. Yeah, the Liquitex yeah, ones. Right? Uh, you know, not the uh, the basic Apple Bear, but the like the uh, Liquitex. The basics, yeah. Yeah. That should spray down very nice. You can get them on sale at, at, at Michael's and Hobby Lobby half the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. With forty percent coupon, you figure it's it's like it's like three ninety nine or, or four ninety nine per tube, and they always have the thirty percent off, or you can use the forty percent off. And one tube's gonna last you, you know, ten years, dude. Well, here's the other thing too: is if you go in during the week, sometimes you catch that thing where they'll, they'll be on sale for like half off, and then they give you a flash sale for another thirty percent off. You know? Yeah. I picked up a bunch of stuff like that about a month ago. I was looking for stuff for the house, and I had a bunch of stuff, and it was all on sale. And then all of a sudden, they, uh, I look at my thing, and it says, you know, for eight hours only, you know, another thirty percent off of all sale items. I mean, that's just so they can clear that stuff off. They don't have to restock it, you know? Hey, Chris, did you get that, that figure? You got it on eBay? Uh, yeah, I got, a, I got it from a uh, hobby shop that sells on eBay. They're out of Australia. That's where I got uh, her from. Because I've uh, seen her, now. she didn't have a lot of cleanup, though, right? No, hardly any at all. Oh, yeah. That's her excellent cast. That's a great-looking figure, man. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really great. I paid me a uh, 35 for it. And she fit, you know what? She fits on that bike just right, too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it fits just perfect on a bike. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, made by legend. Legends, okay, that's that Korean uh, place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. See now, the other guy we got to get on here, man, is uh, is what's his name? Um. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, come on. Him and his Panzer Man Bill. Yeah. Yeah. He's a character. Um, that guy cracks me up. Oh, yeah, I love watching his videos. Man. Yeah, he's funny as heck. I told him one time, he says, you don't want to show his face. I said, that's all right, man. Just put the, uh, just put Grendel's on there and point the camera at Grendel's. Yeah. <laughs> I used to say I'd never show my face either, then I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Nothing to hide. No. Nope. Ah, what the heck. This this is the nice little corner of the universe, you know what I mean? It's I don't know how to explain it, but when it, the internet can be kind of a landfill that you have to wade through, so when you find the nice little corners, that's where you want to stay. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. It it can be, bro. I mean, believe me, I, I've I've had I've learned the hard way and, and I've made mistakes and opened my mouth a couple of times when I shouldn't have. But you learn you learn real quick and you just find a little niche somewhere and just go about your business, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, it's really good. I I'm glad I landed here. Yeah. You know. Like someone said once, the, ind the internet does not have an idiot filter. So no, it don't. Bro. You're, you're, <laughs> you're right, man. You're, you know what? And, and you know, and and I I catch myself every now and then on that Facebook too, you know, because oh can, sure, yeah, that can be. I mean, the problem with Facebook is every you post, you know, somebody will give you something to post, you know, or they they tag you in it, and then before you know it, man, you you know, people are angry at you over something that they tagged you in. It's like, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. No, I, I hear you. I had the same experience. I got off of there after a few years, but I had some stuff was overkill. Like if you're at a party and a friend would tag everybody at the party and 
Yeah. You know, if you're not warning me, I don't know what I look like after a few beers and I'm sitting at the table, you know. Yeah. So, you, know you know what I get a kick out of is when these people put on their, oh, we're at the store. You know, I'm at the store. Come visit. Like, Thank you for telling me that. Now I'll go rob your house. <laughs> yeah, overkill. Just too much information, a lot of noise. Uh, for me, it's like I, it's that dynamic, too, where you might have a lot of your extended family. Then you yeah, got friends yeah. and your friends' kids, and then people from work, and it's like this whole group that's all sharing one giant conversation, and it's yeah, it could get a little out of hand. Yeah, my thing is, you know, you know, people tag you, and then my wife would be like, "Hey, you told me you were here. Why the fuck <laughs> this guy tagging you over there? <laughs> what are you talking about?" Yeah. You know, it's so funny because growing up, you know, they always talk about, like, Big Brother. Or you'd watch a sci-fi movie about tracking and stuff. And then Facebook comes out, and everybody's putting, you know, like you said, like, everybody's doing the location thing. I'm at the gym. Joe's at the restaurant, you know. <laughs> They're all tracking each other on their own with their, oh, their they, phone. Yeah, they don't, yeah, yeah. They, you, we, we, did, we did it for them. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. Yeah, we did it for them. It doesn't matter where you're at. I, I did do a funny one, though. I might have told you this one before, but I was coming over Donner Pass, and I did an update, and I said a, I said something like, coming over Donner Pass, uh, really hungry right now or something. And a few people thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. I would have thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if I'd have saw you with a leg on your hand or a shoe in your hand or something, I would really hit the fucking floor, man. You know? I would have thought that. I would That would have been hilarious. I mean, chewing yeah. on a human leg. Yeah, chewing on a leg or something, you know? <laughs> Anybody got any salt? You know, or something like that. That would have been great. <laughs> I couldn't keep up, though, on Facebook. Sometimes people post something. I didn't understand half of what I was reading on the wall sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it can, it can be, yeah, it can be, and you know what, the other thing is, is, you know, somebody will ask to follow you, they follow you, and then they get angry when they see something on your page. <laughs> it's like, well, dude, I didn't ask you to follow me, you know? Right. I can post this, it's like, yeah, I can post whatever the hell I want. Yeah, but you know what, the more I, I was, I was talking to my wife about this yesterday, I said, you know what, I got a lot of people on there, because I got those three pages that I manage. So I figured, you know what, I have to be very careful what I say because, man, you know, you could be joking and somebody will take it seriously, you know? You know? Yeah. No, it's so, true. Yeah, they, they take that the face value of the words they read on the page. Well, you know, it's kind of hard when you're, especially when you're typing. If you're typing a, a text message or a, a PM or something on, on Facebook, it's kind of hard to get the, unless you, you put it all in caps, you know, and there's a certain etiquette. But right. it's kind of hard to get the emotion behind a written word if you're not, you know, you know, and, and a lot of times it's something very, man, I, I've i seen some flame flame wars over something very innocent, you know, it's like, what do you mean, you son of a bitch, it's like, whoa, dude. Yeah, I've seen some really idiot stuff happen over something very, very innocent, you know, so. People interpret things so differently, it's, you know, like you said, you can say one thing and then. If ten people read it, eight of those ten people, there might be eight of them that all take it a different way, whether they might take it, you know, if they're, oh, was he making fun of me or was he making fun of himself or was was he making fun of this or was he just being sarcastic? Or oh, yeah. yeah, it's just, it's, <laughs> yeah, but that's the nature of social media, brother, you know? Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. It's here now. That genie's out of the bottle, so, you know. <laughs> Well, it's out, all right. Yeah, it's out. There's nothing they can do. You know, I've heard, I, I've heard, uh, I read a couple of stories where they were, how can we stop this? How can we put it? it you can't. No. Uh, you can't. It's so. Right, yeah, go ahead. It's so embedded in the in the culture now that there's just no way you're going to put an end to it now. You know. Like like Twitter. I mean, the the news media and everybody uses that. It's uh, such a. I don't want to call it a standard, but you know what I mean. It's not just a little. Thing on the side, it's something that's in our society. Well, I mean, it's fun. Like you just mentioned it. You watch the news, like in the morning. I'll be watching the news, you know, like at five or six in the morning, and, and oh, check out hashtag blah blah blah. I'm like, dude, I, 
you know, I'm watching you. Why do I want to check that out? I want to hear it from you, you know? It's just ridiculous, you know? But you're right. You're right. That that Twitter is just ubiquitous. It's everywhere, you know? Yeah. It's. I mean, now I don't think you, you, you – we had some people running for office a while back locally here. And I think all their campaign managers told them the first thing you've got to do is have a Facebook and Twitter page. And a lot of these guys, and they're, they're 40, 50, 60 years old, they didn't have it. And they're like, well, I don't even know what to do because it's not, you know, they're they're removed from it. They don't use it. And, of course, here you are running for, say, city council or whatever. No, no, you've got to have this now. This is how we speak to the public. And, well, big jump. I know quite a few people that work, their companies that they work for do not allow them to have one. Because it, yeah. it, 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 whatever happens on that page reflects them as an employee of okay. that company. So, well, let me tell Hillary Clinton. Her two, Facebook, her two accounts. Look how much trouble it got her. Yeah, but you know what? The funny thing is they all have them. It's yes, just, right. you know, and then they'll all, they all use it against each other when the time is right, you know? Yeah. You know, so, you know that, that's, that's the funny part, you know? You know, Gil, you were saying we had a, our college football team here. They they told the quarterback he couldn't speak to the media, and they he doesn't have Twitter or anything. And I I thought that was kind of smart. You know, maybe it you know it just cuts down on any drama, and he can just focus on doing his job well, and yeah, maybe not get him in trouble. But I don't, I don't know what the exact reason was. Well, listen, you got in that yeah in that instance you got a kid, man. That's trying to not only is he trying to focus on. In education, he's trying to fulfill his collegiate scholarship, you know, playing ball. Yep. If he says the wrong thing, that kid is ruined. He's ruined. Yep. You know, I mean, he could be, you could catch him in a, you know, he stubbed his toe or whatever, and he's in a bad mood, and somebody says something, and he'll, all he's got to say is, get the F out of my face, and boom, it blows up. Now the, kid's, yep. the kid gets thrown out of school, he can't, he gets run out, you know, for something, you know, that we all do because we're all human, you know. Right. Yep. Right, yeah. I got to say Henry, it was good seeing you, my friend. Um, talk to you, you go ahead and put that on there if you want to get rid of those other kids, man. So, all, right, my friend. all right, brother. Thanks, man. Have a good one, my friend. I'm going to take a quick break uh, to, uh, to eat something. I'll be back after. You're going to eat again, dude? No, <laughs> bro. Man. Every two hours. You're worse than Brian, man. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, bro. And that boy can eat. So now you coming up tomorrow with uh with by yourself, Bob or Yeah. I couldn't find anybody else who wanted to go along, so Well we're gonna have a good time, man. We're um yeah. I know there's a, a couple other guys that I know that are uh, they're not on YouTube but they're on forums and stuff. They're gonna be there. Um you'll see a lot of people that you recognize when you talk to them. Um, um there's sure. and you know what? The cool thing about it is you're gonna you know, you have some of everything there, you know. Some of everything. And it's, it's you know, the judging is pretty fair. It's a really fair judging system there, you know. Well, I don't expect anything. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I got a couple of things I'm going to take, but the only reason I go there, I, I, I like the atmosphere. They got a great raffle there, man, a great 50-50 raffle there. I mean, um, the, the stuff they give away there, they give away these things, you know. Yeah. You know, so... I mean, they got a beautiful raffle there. Um, it's, a, it's a good time. You'll have a great time. Yeah, I just want to show you the show because yeah. it's been all this hard work and we're modeling. You know, we put up a YouTube video and some pictures, and then it goes on the shelf and nobody will see it again. Well, I'm having fun meeting people. You know, that's the cool part because you go yeah. somewhere and then somebody will come up to you and, you know, and, and, and uh, you'll meet them for the first time, and you get to know them, you know, and then you make good friendships that way. But the cool thing is that you get to meet them, you know, and you see them in a natural environment versus a video. You know what I mean? Right. And, and that's, that, that, that to me is cool, man, you know, just to make the friendships and stuff. You know, you have a good, you know, I, I think that's pretty cool, you know. Um, I really do. That's why I was telling Baltas I'd like, I want to get down to Wonderfest. I'd like to go to that show in Ohio on um, that big show. I think it's in Dayton. I think, or Columbus. Anyway, there's a couple of them, uh, big shows next year that, you know, like car shows. Now, I'm, again, I, I build cars, but I'm not a car builder, you know. Right. But that being said, 
I love the models, you know. And, and I like, you know, talking to those guys, man. I love talking to them, you know. They're really cool. Not only that, man, you know what? You learn so much from these people, you know. I mean, if 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 I ever get to the point where I say I can't learn from anybody, man, that, that's bullshit. You know, you learn so much from these people, you know. And that's oh, yeah. a cool thing. That's what I like love about it. And then, and then you get one on one. They see your thing one on one, and, and and I like it because I'll ask their opinion on my stuff, and then they'll tell me, you know, right there. Hey, look, you know, you could have done this, or you know, maybe this, or you know. And that's, you know, I, I I enjoy that. I really do. You know, that feedback. You know, because you know what, we don't get enough of that on YouTube, man. You know, everybody's like, good job, good job, good job, and sometimes, you know, if it's presented right, you know, you you really want to know, man. You're almost I mean, afraid to say something negative about something on there because that'll blow up and explode. Yeah, that's what, that's what I like about that that uh, Facebook page that uh, Will Pat Patterson has done. You know, he he put it out there. He says, "Look, this is a, an experiment, a critique page. So if you put your stuff on there, you're asking for it to be critiqued. So if you don't want to hear the and, and they're not bad about it, they're not gonna gonna mm -hmm. slap at you. They're just gonna tell you if you ask, hey, what is your opinion?" Now, you got some guys that, you know, like as far as aircraft builders that are pretty good. Well, they're going to tell you what they think. Right. It's up to you if you're going to, if, if, it, if it works for you, fine. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But you know what? I think um, I think a little bit of, of honesty would go a long way, as far, you know, to helping people. You know? I think so. I mean, I mean, look, you got Chris right there. I'm sure Chris, if something was wrong with his, he wouldn't want everybody to tell him what a great job he does. I mean, if he, if if somebody doesn't like it, explain to me why you don't like it. You know, it doesn't mean you're going to change it. Just, you know, yeah. I'd like to know. You know, that doesn't bother me. I I enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah. 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 Bother me. Think about it, Bob. For the most part, we're sitting building alone. There's yeah. nobody here with you, so you can't you can't just take something and say, "Hey, what do you think?" You know, you know. I mean, I, I'm lucky, and, and and many other people are where where you know I I have a my kids are artistic, and I got a son a lot of so I can go to them and run ideas by them. But even then, I'm sitting in this room by myself when I'm doing it. So when you present it to people. You know, hey, it might look good to you, it might not look good to you, but you would like to hear, you know. Right, right. You know, I mean, I don't want to hear somebody say, hey, you suck, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? That's that's ignorant, you know. But then again, you know, maybe, you know, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he's definitely not. Yeah. And that's what I like about those shows. Now, there's also politics in them, but, you know. I can live with that. Yeah, you know what, as long as you know that, you know, yeah. I don't care if I win or not. I just want to get my stuff out. Mm. Yeah. Look at Brian. Brian says, not me. If my build is not too good, simply lie to me and tell me it's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dog. Atomic dog. <laughs> okay, B. We'll tell you that all the time now, brother. Yeah. So you bring bringing, what, about four of them with you, Bob? Yeah. Cool. Maybe five, and I might just show four. Yeah, yeah the, the last year they had some really, um, really cool vendors up there, and there were some really good deals. You know, like 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 uh, Baltazar was saying, um, you get you have like a 50-50 mix. You have people that are trying to get rid of their collections, or they're liquidating a collection. Somebody may have passed away or something, and they're trying to get rid of it. And then you have the vendors, and even the vendors though, you you get good deals from them. Like this one we went to uh, a couple weeks ago, Baltazar and I, we went to that uh, MMM, MMSI show, and they had some, it was, it's a figure painter show, but they had some of everything there. But their prices were ridiculous. Some of those vendors were just, not all of them, but some of them. I got a, We got a couple of good deals from Last Cavalry. They were there, um, and a few other people. But you had some of these vendors that had all these, uh, like those scale 75 figures and those Andreas figures, you know, all those, you know. And there was one in particular. There's the one that the, the Mother of Dragons ones. You know which one I'm talking about? It's a figure, and it's got the little, she's got the dragon on her shoulder. I was looking at that one, and there was another one where the, the shield maiden, she's holding that shield. 
And I thought, you know, I'd like to pick those two up and paint them for my wife, right? So I asked the guy what he wanted for them, and, man, he was asking a crazy price on them. You know, I mean, I could get those on, online for anywhere from, I don't know, uh, 60 to $70, maybe maybe less, maybe more, a few dollars more. This guy was asking $135 for each one. No, no, no. I just, you know... And then the paints, some paints. Uh, he had a, he was selling the Andre. Another guy was selling those uh, scale seventy five paints, and he wanted eight dollars a, a, a tube, or you know, a pot. I'm like, dude, they don't even cost that much, you know. So, you know, but there was other guys that were selling like a big, uh, those big uh, resin or uh, like Frankenstein and werewolf and stuff like that. The the heads, the busts. Uh. And he was, I mean, you could, if I, if that was my sort of thing, that was a steal. He was selling them at a damn good price, you know. But, yeah. But, I've uh, heard those in the past, and usually when I'm shopping, I look, look at it. What would be the best price I could get on, like, on eBay or online, minus the shit thing. If I could buy it for show for somewhere around that price, then I could get it. Well, that's what I do. If I can get it for the same thing I'm going to get it or at, and or about around that price, you know, if you figure in the shipping, you know, and now now Amazon, they didn't they just built a new a new warehouse about five miles from me here. And before they did that, they weren't charging the, the Illinois state tax. You had to declare that. Well now they're hitting you with the state tax, but I got prime. So, you know, if I get something on Amazon that's halfway, you know, about the same price and fine. If I find it at a at a show, at or about the same price, you know, I, I'd rather give it to the little guy than give it to the big guy, you know. Yeah. And you'll find a lot of those there tomorrow, but, Bob. You know, I know last year I think I spent about a hundred dollars last year, and I walked out of there with about seven kits, you know, and a bunch of tools and stuff, you know. But you know, for a hundred bucks, I think I, I made out I made out pretty good. Last year. So my main focus, I need I need some new paints, and then uh, you never know what a kit pop catches your eye. And... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one that I'm, the one that got away from me though, and I'm still angry about it, is that there was a guy that I was just I was talking about earlier. He had that fire flame, that 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 resin one, and I had talked him. I don't remember what I talked him down to, but it was lower than I, I could have bought it online, and. I told him I'd be back because I had to go take my models because the show, the, the 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 voting or the yeah the voting was over with so I, w I wanted to get him in the car so I didn't have a bunch of shit to carry you know and I just never went back and I'm like shit you know? so that's one that got away from me because that's one of my Grail kits is that one and I'd like to do the uh, the Prometheus you know but they they don't have a real good kit of that out yet not really no. Yeah, cause I'm, I'm, I'm. That's my first love is the sci-fi. Yeah, I was talking to Bill the other day and realized that in all these years I've never built a MIG. Yeah. Yeah, Tommy, you're right. A Facebook page is much better because you get you get instant feedback, and that's that's you're right. You're absolutely right. So I've never built a MIG, and that's I'm gonna look for one tomorrow. So, and then I'm always on. It. On the eye, got the eyes out for a good sci-fi kit. And oh, you'll find some some good ones there. Maybe get one more car for my stash. That now I'm that <laughs> you're gonna find a lot of cars there, uh, and good prices. I bought a. Uh, I think it was that. Uh, which one did I get? Uh, I got a, a. Was it the Cutlass? No. I got the Apollo. Um, what year is that? Is that the '69. I'm sorry, the 67. I bought a 67 Impala there, and I got it at a good price. I, you know, because I'm not much of a car guy, so I only usually have one or two car kits floating around. Yeah, yeah, Neil. The show that I'm going to is called the Butch O'Hare Show. Um, they it's once a year. Um, I think it would. This is probably, I believe, I'm, I'm not too sure, but I think it's their 33rd annual one. It's a yeah. pretty big one here. And, um, yeah, I'll take video, and there'll be lots of pictures, Neil. Me too. Yeah. Because they got some... on my camera right now. What's that? 
Got my batteries for my camera and the charger right now. Yeah, I gotta I gotta plug mine in tonight, man. So I make sure that the battery's all charged up and make sure that my little uh, my, my data sticks are, are clear because I got one that's like um I got a 56 gig one or 54 gig one, which is more than enough. I just want to make sure there's nothing on it so I don't lose anything, you know. Right. I'll, you know, I'll transfer all that tonight and make sure everything's up and running and. Cause there, there's some nice stuff there. You're gonna see some nice stuff there. Hopefully, if it's like it was, it's been the years past. It, there, there's some nice stuff there. You know, cause you get people that come in from um, Milwaukee, um, Detroit, the Detroit area, the Michigan area, Indiana. Um, I thought there was a couple of people there from Iowa last year, and then you know, of course the Chicagoland area and Kentucky. You know, right around, you know, right in this area. You know. And now St. What's that, Bob? And now St. Yeah, now St. Louis, yeah. Well, yep. You're coming right down 55, right? Yeah. Yeah. Up, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should be okay, though, too, coming down here, because once you get uh, once you get closer here, when you get close to 80 is when uh, you'll start running into a little bit of traffic, but there's no construction that I know of from here all the way there. Now, I'm about... I'm about 20 miles from from where they're going to show have the show straight down 55, and there's no you'll, you're you're not going to run into any construction all the way there, so you'll be from here from my point here, you know. Yeah. So I don't know what's I don't know like Bloomington and and, and uh, Springfield area. I don't know what's happening over there. But. Dude, they're not coming to the middle of the night on a Saturday morning. Oh yeah, yeah, because you you said you're leaving at midnight, right? Yeah, around midnight. Yeah, because you're gonna yeah yeah. Let's see, it's about. From the St. Louis area, from where I'm at, it's about four hours for me. It's about I live west of the city. It's about gonna you know, be about five and a half to six hours. So but, I stop and get gas a couple times. Oh well, sure, yeah, yeah. You gotta stop and you know relieve yourself, eat something, get fuel, yeah. Walk around. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Now, Rizal's right. gonna come up today and go to the muse museum of science and industry, and then. Uh, I was off of work for a couple of days last week, so I don't have the extra cash. Right, right. And hotel room for the weekend. So I'm just going to get a hot shot it up there tomorrow. Yeah, I had a, I think, uh, I don't know if you know who, you know Adam Mann? He's a YouTuber. Um, I probably have seen his videos on I don't know. He was thinking about coming up. He's in the, in Wisconsin, so I don't know if he's gonna make it. I know there's a couple other people I know that that, that are coming. A couple of YouTubers that said they'd be there. Well, we'll see what happens. But they were all, they, you know, from what all all they were telling me, they'll be there. So, you know. and they give some nice medals out. They give uh, they give you know like the like the you know the the brass ones, you know the round ones. Uh -huh. It's not trophies. They give you out the medal with the lanyard, you know. And um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. Yes, I don't. If I get, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't on that. But as long as I, as long as I have a good time and get to see lots of cool stuff and talk to cool people and have fun, that's all that really matters to me. Yeah, yeah. That you will have. Um, it's it's. it's it's a really nice place, you know. It's real. They're real friendly. You'll you'll like it. You'll like it. All right. Let me see if I can get this finished here. Cause I was gonna try to get this done for tomorrow, but there's no way I'll have this on a base and everything for tomorrow. That's what I was hoping for the sky, uh, Starfighter, but I just that ain't happening. Yeah, this thing. You know, I was hoping to have this done and put on a base and no. Uh, no. Cause now I'm looking at it and I'm starting to weather it. And the more I weather it, the more I want to do to it and. Yeah. If I got the decals on here this afternoon, by the time I got the clear coated, I'd never get it finished before it left. You get my pilot done, though. Yay! Now, do, um, how many shows? Do they have some pretty good shows out there where you're at? You know, during the year. Me? No, I had nothing. That's a shame, man. The St. Louis IPMS chapter has one little, little show. Uh huh. It's basically, it's a hobby shop type thing. Right. And then there's one in Kansas City, in Kansas, 
And that's four hours away, too. And they do that once a year. That's it. There's nothing else. Yeah, I know there's a, there's a, a lot of little smaller ones like Hobby Lobby or Hob, um, Hobby Lobby Hobby Town has a, a couple here and there, but you know that's why I've been entering lately all those uh, online ones. Yeah, I'm on in the Ravel Model of the Month one right now with that seven four seven build, and I did the Hobby Town one last month or two months ago. But I didn't even make the top 20 on that one. But I just feel bad about that because there were some amazing builds in that one. Hey, Chris, how did you do on that one? What's that? The one that we voted for. The one that we were all voting. How did you do on it? That, 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 uh... He was in the top 20, I think. I think he was in the top what 20. Was, uh, Which one was that one? I, I ended um, the uh, Lindbergh alien attack. Right, but how did you do on that one? Well, I don't know. You know, I never checked. It was something that was... I just posted it up there and... and they, you know, they only announced the first, second, and third, and then about a week later they put up the top 20 in no order. Yeah, but he was in the top 20, though, wasn't he? He was. I think he was. Oh, that's excellent. Shit, I'm happy with that. Oh, hell yeah. Well, that's cool. So there was a ton, of, a ton of really, really good builds in that one. Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was a ton of good stuff in there. That's when I wish that they would go from the single picture to the five picture. Really. Well, yeah, you get a better look at everything. I broke the one. I, if I, should I win, which I don't know, I doubt I will, but... You get twenty bucks. You get twenty bucks or twenty twenty you get twenty euros worth of store credit. Um, which one is that one? That's the one on Facebook, the Ravel. Oh, okay. Okay. You win you get a twenty dollar credit for the store. Twenty cool. euro credit, which is like twenty one dollars and fifty cents or something like that. And you get to be your model is their banner on the on their page for the month. Now, did, when did you enter for that one? The 747 and Space Shuttle. Now, we got to vote for that? Yeah, you, you click on the picture and then you like it. Did you, like put, the, did you, did you put the link on the, on the Facebook page, my Facebook uh -huh. page? Okay. Oh, that's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah you, so, you like You put a like on it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I did vote. Was, you're right. I'm that's sorry. I that was winning, but, you know, the voting goes for all month. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about now. I forgot. I forgot about that. Yeah. So I've been at the last couple of days. Hey, Gil. Yes, sir. I got a. Hat. I know you're busy. I was going to show you. I got a hat here. You might appreciate. Ha <laughs> The old White Sox hat. Yeah. 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 I got one of those somewhere around here. Yeah, I like the old vintage Carlton disc. Yeah, I used to drink with that guy back in the 80s, the late 80s. He used to live down the street from us. Oh, geez. That's awesome. Him and Bo Jackson. They used to, they, they, they used to uh, all their stuff for their bikes, the Harleys, they used to yeah. get it from a place called uh, Illinois Harley, right? Um, it was on Harlem Avenue. Right off of, uh, I, uh, was that North Avenue? Anyway, and um, that's where I met him. And then we just started talking, and then uh, there was a bar not too far from where I lived in a place called Orland Park, and he used to go there all the time to drink. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, my, my dad just went on a trip once, and I, I wanted a specific sports hat, and he they didn't have it, so he just picked up that one. So I always liked that hat, and I was looking around the internet one day. I was just like, I want to find that hat, and they, they still make them. Thank goodness. So I just went and got yeah. one. My I bought my wife. She she loves that old one too. I, she's got the the a, one of those old starter jackets. You know, they they reissued them. Yep. And she's got one of those old starter jackets with that on there, that logo. 
Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like the throwback stuff. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Then you know we're getting old when we remember the throwback stuff. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus, that's when they, I, I can still remember going into, before they tore the old stadium down, we'd get in there, man, and sit down and have a good old time in that place. You know, now it's it's a, it's a beautiful ballpark, but it's it doesn't have the, the ambiance the old one did. Yeah, the character the old one had. Yeah, it's just, it just doesn't have it, you know. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's nice, and the seats are better, and everything's, you know, it's all better. It just, it doesn't have that, 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 that. That character that the old one did. Yeah. They had. Uh, they ended up having to take when they first built that. They had these. Uh, this upper deck that was so high up there, they couldn't get anybody to sit up there because they were scared it was it was so high. So they ended up having to take that whole level off, man. Yeah, it was crazy. I used to love sitting up there, man. You couldn't see anything, but it was cool to just to sit up there because no, you can get up there and have a good time, you know. Oh yeah. You know. No, that's pretty neat. Yeah, we we lost a lot of the the stadiums aren't built to last forever and. It's, some of them last a long time. You know, football stadiums now, they turn them down after like 22 years usually, you know. Yeah, yeah, that old one, man, was beautiful, beautiful brick, and, and, and it was just gorgeous, but it was falling apart, you know. Yeah, and the, the maintenance to keep it up is so. Yeah, it's like uh, like Wrigley Field. It's a beautiful ballpark, but, man, I wouldn't go in the bathrooms in there. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, it's just bad, you know. It's just you catch a disease in there, you know. Give me a second here, guys. Hold on, let me answer the phone here. Hey, basement modeler, I didn't catch your first name. I forgot it. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear <laughs> you muted? All good. I'm just... I think you muted, but I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Javi, I hear you. You, you kind of echoed. I'll check my settings. Can't hear you, B. Me? I can hear you, yeah. No. He's still got it. I wonder if he's just got it on mute. He, sh he would know, though. Yeah, maybe, maybe he just had a reload. Yeah. I'm Mike, by the way. Dustin. You're, what's your name? Mike. Mike, nice to meet you, man. Uh, I'm Hinterland Customs on YouTube. Hobby Man. Say that again? Hobby Man Mike. Gotcha. Can you guys hear me now? Oh, there you go. We got you now. Right. Yeah, sorry about that, Dustin. Man, I didn't know. For some reason, this mic wasn't going. I wasn't on mute, but uh, my first name is uh, Baltazar. Baltazar, gotcha. 
I uh, no, I felt bad. I said that, and then it was crickets, and then I could see you looking at the the camera, and it was like a movie where you got the guy gets launched out into space, you know, and he's screaming, but nobody hears him. <laughs> That's a tagline for Alien, man. The movie. <laughs> no one hears you scream. I saw your mouth moving. Hey, Mike, I was telling Gil that um, Amazon has the Falcon for uh, a $41 ship. Really? Yep. That's, wow. That's a good deal. Good price, man. Yep. I wonder how they're doing that with import and everything. Well, you know what? They got pretty good deals it's on all the other stuff, too. Like no. Some of the the kits are actually cheaper now. It can't be Amazon. Amazon can't sell it. It's it's not for sale in the U.S. So they're gonna be on the shelves of the Japanese supermarkets for clearance in a couple years. Watch. Yeah, I'm gonna have a worthless box of. Crap, there's gonna be so much of it out there. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Sorry about that. Mike! What's up, Bill? Shut up! Shut up, G! It's G Bunny. Sorry about that, man. I had to I had to answer the phone. mama called and I didn't notice you had come in there. I was in for a while. You missed me. Have you you've been here for a while? We've been busy. We've been busy. I didn't want to bug you. You looked intensely busy painting something, so. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, it's just this little, here, I'll show you. Um, I painted this a while ago. I just trying to get it, um, you know, I didn't feel like busting out anything, and I just got to finish weathering it. It's one of those little dust <laughs> tactics. A little tiger strike guy. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yep. So I'm just weathering it up now. I'm like, you into now, man. You ain't for me. You got ADD. You're all over. You know what, bro? You damn right I do. <laughs> I mean, I got stuff everywhere, man. And and yeah, yeah. I mean, last night I I was working on this guy last night, and then I was gonna paint him, but I want to film this for a friend of mine as I'm painting it. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this off to the side so I can film it while I'm painting it. I was gonna work on her today. But I, I put her coat of clear on there so I don't ruin that that uh, that skin tone. And I thought, nah, not today. I don't feel like it. Yeah. So and then I shot the. I, I was gonna work on to finish up the Tidarium shuttle, so I shot it with some uh, with some all clad uh, the aqua gloss. And then I was gonna start finish the weathering, but the aqua gloss because it's we got it's a little moist in the air. It's not 100% dry yet, so. Where that is. I got. I have to tell you, I got. Remember I bought all that AK Extreme Metal. What do you think about it? I got. I use it. Half of it's gone. You don't like it? No, it all comes up in the in the bottle. It's all. So, it's all. It's all clumped up and dried, and I never even opened it. Yeah. See that? Yeah. It's you know what? I like, heard about. It's like the Vallejo metal ones. You know how that would get clumped up after a while and, and turn into... Oh, no, man, that shit. And you bought the whole range, didn't you? No, no, I, I got that. That's my water. Yeah, like the, the dead exhaust, it's all, it's, it's all shot in the bottle. I'm, I'm pretty upset about that. I don't know. Now, if you stuck a... Um if you stuck one of those stainless steel ball bearings, it still won't, you don't think it'll break it up? I mean, I, I mixed it. I stirred, I got the metal stirrer in there, and I, I broke it all up and played it, but it, it, it's still clunky. You can tell. It's the pigment. Did you try one of these? I, I, I mixed it up really, really good. No, no, okay, yeah. You, know, it's, you can tell it's garbage. But, but you know what? You know what? Now, if you write to them and I you said, show them that, because they had a, the first batch of that was bad. That's what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what, remember the one with his video, he said that. I was yeah, so, I mean, did you have any problems with any of them? 
I've never. I don't use them for that po- because of that problem. I don't use their metals. I use uh, the Vallejo, the true metal. Um, I use uh, Vallejo's uh, regular metals. I use this. I just picked this up because I hear this stuff is really great. Everybody that I know that's used it, they love it. Or I just use all clay. Um, but I've never. I stayed away from the AK because I had problems with their paint. Yeah. You know, I have a, a thing of there. Here, I'll show you. I have this, which is their primer. Um, and this is the reason why I don't use it. I'll show it to you right now. Um, this is their gray primer, and it's all on this. It's right there. It's all. Here, yeah. So there's your pigment, yeah. and everything else is there. You know, that's why I don't. I, I mean, yeah. and I've. You know what? Even shaking it, I stick a thing. Look at this. I'm shaking the piss out of it. Look, and it's still there. Look. Look, yeah. look, look at this, Baltazar. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mike. Put uh, that Taylor Swift song in the background. Yeah, okay. You're going to put some porn music in the background, right? You get a little porn music in the background? What's wrong with you? But you saw me shake the piss out of it. Look. Which one is it? AK. No, this is, well, AK MIG. This is MIG. Um, and then... Where's the AK stuff? I had no. I threw the AK one away. Um, but yeah, you just saw that. I'm shaking yeah. the piss out of it, and I can't get it. it. It just hardened up on the bottom. There's not. I can't use it. There's a couple of them that are okay. The aluminum, the chrome, the dark aluminum is okay. But like the 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 burnt metal, the jet exhaust, the copper. It's like all thick and nasty. It's, it's ruined. It's no good. It's separated. It's and it seems like the oil came out of the pigments, and the pigments dried up into a mass. And then it doesn't matter how much you mix it up, the pigments are still too big. It's like flaky. They turn into flakes. Clumpy. Yeah. Clumpy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no. See, that's what I heard. Oh, last year I was hearing that, and that's why I didn't buy them. Yeah. So, but from what I understand, they they knew they had a bad batch and they fixed it. So I don't know. Yeah, maybe I mean I'll go for another purchase. I don't know. I might go to the business stuff. I didn't think about that. Well, this stuff I'm hearing. Um, we're hearing good things about it. Um, you know what? This stuff is really great. This one is just uh, the jet exhaust, but I'm gonna pick up some more of those because I I, I want to see how they work. I want to I want to sit them off on the side for a month or so, or two months to see if they separate. Number one, um, that's why I haven't used it. So, because I'm telling you, dude, every 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 MIG and AK paint that I've got up there has separated. Yeah. They've all separated. Just for my model, there like that. There um, let me look at these now. Now, these are the MIG ones. I mean, I got some MIG paints, but even like the Vallejo ones, separate. You just gotta mix the crap out of them up. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, no, no. That's true. But I'm talking about those uh, metal ones that he's got there. There was a known problem with those. Oh yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Now, if they knew there was a problem with it, they still sold them. Yes, they didn't know until after they sold them, right? <laughs> well, well, that's what I'm saying, though. But if they sold them, they should have pulled them. Recall. Well, it gives you a bad name, dude. I mean, after a while now, you don't want to deal with these people anyway. Now, shit happens, but that whole first batch, from what I understand, that whole first batch was terrible. Where's that echo coming from? From you. Are you sure? Yep. Go ahead. I'm going to mute it. And let's see everyone else talk, see what happens. Hello? Uh, yep. Testing.
Tessie, it's you, bro. Just check your check your mic. Microphone check. Microphone check. Check. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's you, bro. It's your mic. You gotta just you know uh, fix the settings on your mic. You're getting feedback. I don't even know how to do that shit. What do you want? Your iPad? No, I'm on my uh, laptop. Let me reload, see if we go to it. Yeah, I bet you were pretty angry when you saw that. I'm like, yeah, you know, I haven't. I used the Chrome. It shot great, like when I first bought it. Uh huh. And then I hadn't touched anything else. I was gonna use the copper for something else, but I never got around to it. And then I was doing that messing with that Gundam. I was gonna do a couple different tones of metal on it, and it and I'm I pull it out and it's just freaking crap. I couldn't do it. And I, I just threw away a whole range of Vallejo metal ones that Vallejo model air metal ones that were crap because they had all congealed into goop. You know, too. So. Yeah, I got a couple of them. I just put them on this little rack behind me, and I was going through them, and I threw about four of them away because the same thing, the metal ones on the top. Oh, look at your rack there. Oh, that's no good. Well, I've had it on the, My daughter gave it to me. She does the nail tech, and she, get, she gets those, you know, so she gave me this one. And seeing as I'm, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get to my basement, you know, so I might as well put it up there, you know. I keep I keep saying you know I keep thinking I'm gonna get in there but they, these people haven't fixed that water main for my kids to move in. Waiting for that waiting for the city of Joliet to to fix that water main chest. Yeah. You want to have water tomorrow? Yeah. We'll take a shower. Yep. <laughs> and we, who needs water, right? <laughs> you can buy it. <laughs> well, <laughs> buy it yeah, I think the health department won't let them move in because number one, it's the main water main, and then number two, well, they they're calling it a health hazard, which I I get it, but fix the damn thing already. You know, it's your problem. Fix it. They, they've got a ticket filled out. I'm sure they'll get to it real soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what they said. We'll get to it real soon. <laughs> I figured. Well, I think, you know what, if somebody was, they hadn't moved in yet. Now, I bet you if somebody lived in that house, they would have done it right away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but seeing that it was vacant at the time, they're in no big hurry to do it now because nobody's in the house. Yeah. You think the owner of the house would have something to say, you know? Well, he does. He's, he's been going back and forth with them over it, but yeah. uh, because at right first, that, you know, it's... well, I think they tried to get him to pay for it, and he says, wait a minute. You know, he's got to he's got to fix his end of it, but it's underneath the, the it's underneath the driveway, and it's there. It's the main feeder that feeds into the house from the road. Yeah. So it's not like he can just get a jackhammer. And... So yeah, I mean, he wanted to get somebody to come in there and do it, and then they told him what it was going to cost, and he he says, okay, I'll get it done. Will I get reimbursed for it? They said no, and he says, okay, then you do it. Yeah. And, and in the meantime, he's still got to pay the nut on the house, and no, there's no rent coming in on it. That's what I was going to say. It costs the, you know, yep. cost the revenue. Oh, exactly. Shouldn't if he's renting? Shouldn't the guy that owns the place isn't he responsible to get this water turned on and all that? Well, no. The thing was, 
my daughter and my son-in-law were getting ready to move in, and I noticed a wa I noticed some water leaking out of it, and I said something. So we 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 called the landlord, which is a friend of theirs. They've known him their whole lives, you know. Yeah. So his he went out there and he looked at it, and that's when he noticed that the water wasn't just coming from the faucet; it was coming from underneath the ground. So he had to call the city to shut the water off. And then when oh, okay. the, the city came out to look at it, he had a plumber out there getting ready to fix the faucet and stuff because that's where he thought the leak was. And the plumber turned and looked at him and says, dude, this is the main water main that's broke. The water was coming up through that pipe, you know, underneath. So you have to you have to notify the, the city so they could shut it off because it was just it was a swamp in there. So the city come out, and they look at it, and they're like, okay, we'll get somebody out and fix it. So they shut the water off coming to the house, but they haven't done anything since. Oh, well. Uh. Because we were already moving all their stuff in the house. Yeah, it's got to be frustrating. Yep. Well, it's frustrating for them because, you know, they were moving out. They were, you know, I got an apartment downstairs, but they were in their own place, you know. Yeah. So they were moving out. They were all happy. They had everything ready. They were looking for, you know, new furniture, all that good shit. And now they're stuck again downstairs in the apartment. And I don't have my, my, my hobby room now. Well, hopefully the city gets out there soon and fixes well, that's probably frustrating. Yeah, they, were, they were supposed to have had it done before Thanksgiving. So I'll ask my daughter what's been going on because I haven't asked her in about a week or so. But the last time she talked to them, they were supposed to have gone out there sometime last week, you know, to start digging it up. So But you know that you know how that is. Government bureaucracy, man. Nobody knows what nobody's doing. I deal with them quite a bit. I know exactly what you mean. Yep. The left hand doesn't know what the right one's doing. I, sp I spent four hours the other day trying to figure out who had a specific timesheet template. Uh, nobody, nobody nope. had it. And they were going back and forth, these different you know, people, I'll say, and across three different companies and such, and it was like, guys, I, I'd write up my own, but I know it'd get down the line. Somebody would say, this isn't official. You can't use this. Right. All I was trying to do was help an employee who had been hospitalized, you know, and he couldn't fill out his timesheet, so I was trying to get it done for him. And Yeah, it was just one of those things. You just scratch your head like, man, it's just, oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Millions of dollars in computer technology and master's degrees, and it comes down to a piece of paper that nobody seems to have or have a solution for. Isn't that crazy? That's yeah. it. That's and I, I, you know me, I was just like, guys, I just need this one thing so I can solve this one problem to help this one person. Yeah. And everybody's like, we don't have it, we don't have it. And I'm like, well, somebody had it at one point because this is what they use standardized across the board. I mean, it's... It's unbelievable, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like we got a problem right now with the state budget. The, the governor is trying to hold up, uh, hold the state budget hostage. But anyway... Oh, brother. I... You know, my, my, my license plate's expired. So I pay for my, my sticker online, and they're supposed to send it, and I'm still waiting for it. It's been a month, and I'm still waiting for it. So if I get a ticket, I'm going to tell them, look, I have the receipt that I paid for it. I'm just, it just hasn't come in the mail. Because right. they're, uh, they're, they're playing games with the damn uh, mail, the government mail and everything because he wants uh, he, uh, Illinois politics or something else, man. So I bet we we've got it here too. We had a hospital, like you said, when they threatened to veto everything, whatever they pulled a bunch of stuff up, and 
it screws up the little man like you and me. And, well, yeah, man. I, I mean, you just, know, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, just helping people. And here's the other thing: if you win the lottery here in Illinois, you ain't getting your money. They're holding that hostage too. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, you'll get it eventually, but you won't get it when you're supposed to get it. Anything over six hundred dollars, you're not going to get. You have to put. They'll give you an IOU for it. <laughs> are they over? Are, is it something where they're over budget, waiting for an approval on something? Or? No, the, the 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 new governor here, man, is he he's got a he wants a he wants a give more taxes to businesses and tax the there's a bunch of it's a bunch of nonsense so you got the governor that is that is you know flexing his muscle you got the the, the house that are flexing their muscle and nobody wants to give an inch you know so yeah so the governor of course he's got the final say on the purse string so he's vetoing everything and then you got you got these people here that have been playing politics with people's lives all their you know the whole time they've been in office now they're they finally run up against somebody that says no to them. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a, it's Illinois politics, man. It's real crazy. Yeah, we had that a while back where they, they had something they were supposed to vote on that comes up like every five years or something, and I can't remember who it assisted, but it was pretty, it was important. And they ran out of time, and they, instead of staying and getting it done, they quit. They, everybody went home. And so then they had to spend, oh, they told how much money they had to spend, um, you know, to go back and reopen the session to go through and vote this thing in. I mean, it was insane. It was like you cost, I don't know, it was 300 grand to open back up or whatever. Well, it's not their money, so they don't care. <laughs> right. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. You know, everybody's fiscally this and fiscally that, but it's not their money. So as long as it, you know, now you start getting in it, you tell them they got to take a pay cut, and you see how quick they get stuff done. <laughs> yeah. And that, and that, you know what, that goes across all party lines. That there, there ain't no, you know, oh, nobody's, yeah. In, yeah, nobody's innocent in that one. Well, it was, it was funny a few years ago when they were doing that, you know, where, like, they'd say, well, you know, if you, if you don't give us the money, like our, whoever, our certain federal workers are going to have to take time off and they're going to lose all this. And I thought, man, if, have you ever worked in the private sector? Because if you work in the private sector, and I'm just saying my own experience, my own opinion, but as, an, as somebody that's been in the different industries, I've, I've been laid off. I mean, I, I never, I've been through some tough times where we didn't have a bailout or a backup. It was just like, hey, this is over with, and you're just going to have – you're left to your own devices, you know, to survive and bounce back. Exactly. Man, you tell a politician he's going to have to bounce back, man. He's yeah, – right. <laughs> well, I want to be a CEO of a company so I can do poorly and run the company in the ground. If I do that three or four times, I notice they – they get they get rehired really quickly, you know. Like they don't seem to be, and they get you know good golden parachutes. I I, I aspire to do that, but that's not going to happen. That'd be a great thing to do. Give me a nice golden parachute. <laughs> yeah. Now over here, you get fired. You get fired in the real world. Yep. Where's my Where's my my severance? Your severance. <laughs> yeah, what? What severance? I don't I don't know how to spell it. Okay. Well, you you guys got a lot higher population to deal with than where I'm at. That's I don't yeah. know how big yeah. Chicago is. Like when you include all the suburbs and. Oh, it's huge, man. 
but it's huge. You can it take you at least about an hour to drive from one end to the other in the city proper. Yeah. Um, I, I don't remember what the population is, and then you're talking about all the damn little little towns surrounding it. Um, Illinois, uh, Chicago is the financial engine for it. For, 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 oh, so they claim for Illinois. Yeah. So it's the big tax base. And political. What's that? Financial and political. Yeah, financially and political, because everything, all the. A good three quarters of the tax, four fifths of the taxes, come from Chicago, from Cook County. Um, and then, um, so you know, those politicians, they know they hold some juice, you know. Yeah, and then the rest of it's pretty much rural farms and stuff. Well, yeah, you got the you got the city itself that's uh, I don't know two thirds uh, two thirds Democratic, and then well, you know what? In Chicago, you don't know who's a Republican and who's a Democrat because they're all crooked anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know? There you go. You know? um, and then you have the Republic. I mean, come on, our last four governors have been in jail, have been either thrown out or locked up. Yeah, it gets frustrating for you, man. I can imagine when. Well. Now they just passed another uh, tax increase in the city, which means that it'll, and it's going to start filtering its way towards us out here in the outskirts. And you know what? Yeah, you keep you keep you keep raising these damn taxes. Where do you think this money's going to come from? You know? Right. Eventually, you know, these people are going to say enough, man. You know, because you, you're bleeding. That damn power. Excuse me. Where do you hail from there, Mike? I'm in uh, New York. Oh, okay. You know when you got everything closed up? I'm originally from Connecticut, though. I just moved out here about a year ago. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, I don't know if you call it middle New York. <laughs> it's not the up, middle, you said? It's not upstate New York. It's not the city, so I guess it's middle New York. Sure. Orange County. We're ten minutes away from Orange County Chopper. I was just about to ask you that. Yeah. Are you? Hey, how's that guy doing? I heard that he's not doing too good now that his show's yeah. not on. He's not I selling think, bikes. Hey, it's funny. They uh, all the locals up here. They do not like him, man. We beat them out of like a lot of tax money. Uh huh. There, you know what I mean? So. He is not a light person at all. You talk to the local father. Ah, screw that guy. Ah. He, when he, when they went, they got so big. And I guess they got in financial trouble. And they're telling me they're like everybody else. But his answer was to declare bankruptcy and beat like millions of dollars in taxes. Right. You know the townships don't like that. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, they're, they're they're still open. They got the restaurant there. I go in there every once in a while. Now they made you know what the thing about that uh, well the, the kid not well both of them I guess um, some of those bikes man are like man you... they're all there they're all there every bike they've ever done is there on the street. yeah they don't sell them no you can't ride them on the street they don't, they don't multiple ones they don't tell you that on the show but when they when they do one they do two or three or whatever and one or two goes to the company and they keep one there you know what I mean they do duplicate they don't tell you that part. like that Lincoln bike. Right. There was like seven of them. Because I've seen them in Lincoln dealerships in Long Island and the other. I'm like, what? Isn't that the bike that they made on the TV? Because, yeah, you know, they don't tell you, but they made like five of them and they sent them to different dealers. Ha, <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, but uh, you're looking at bikes that are 70, 80 grand, man, you know? I 120, 150. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm talking low end was like 40 to 70, and then you get up to the 100 grand ones, you know? I mean, I'm sure they still got a market. You know, they can still maintain building custom bikes. You know, there's still people out there that are that. Right. Yeah, I still, I still, uh, I'm still a Jesse James guy. I liked his, I loved his bikes. 
Yeah, I was always a fan of Jesse James. Just, yeah, just I love those bikes. He's a craftsman. He's a craftsman. I should like those. Uh, you know, like like the way he did the uh, the yeah. handlebar things with the uh, cylinders with the bullets in them. Yep. You remember? Yep. I liked uh, Indian Charlie. Remember him? He used to make some really nice yep. rat bikes. Indian Larry. Indian, Indian Larry. Larry. I'm sorry. What did I say? Charlie? Indian Larry. He used to make some really nice bikes too, man. Didn't he pass? I thought he passed away. He's gone, right? He passed away, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Gil, you were in the motorcycle business, right? I mean, yeah. Did, right? So, you remember, I mean, back in the early 90s, before any of that stuff was crazy, if you had a Jesse James Fender, you were destroyed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. Well, I'm a Jesse James Fender for myself, right? Yeah. You would yeah. see it at that point, you know. You put a oh, yeah. 180 tire on the back. You have a Jesse James Fender. You're good to go, you know. Yep. I was kind of sad when he shut his place down and moved to Texas. Now I get it why he did yeah. it, but he still he still makes bikes. Yeah. Just for private, you know. It's not public anymore. Right. He's I know he's making um. I think it was was it you that showed me that thing? He's making guns now. Yeah, he's uh, fire on Jesse James, fire on yeah. the Some nice ones. Yeah, he's like he's into like forging now and stuff. Like make the metal himself, right. himself instead of just machining, you know. Oh, the guy definitely has talent, man. Oh, yeah. Talent. I know those people where, where he had his, uh, where, he, where he had the original shop, the West Coast Choppers. Mm -hmm. They had just named that street after it, and then he closed it down. They were pretty pissed. <laughs> but he sold the business, but is the business still going on? Like I heard, uh, West Coast Choppers is still selling bikes. No. What was that, Mike? He still sells bikes on Facebook. Yeah, they still sell bikes there. He just sold his. He just sold it and walked away. I kind of like the stuff he does, though, with that forging and stuff, though. Yeah. That last place he did on TV, he, he forged all the metal for TV and stuff. That was... Yeah. Oh, that one that he did with the, the build-off with the, with those Tuttle, against the Tuttles, yeah. Yeah. Be right back. Hey, Matt, if there's a... If there's a... All right, guys, we, have, uh, we still have some openings, so if anybody's watching and wants to jump in, just uh, go ahead and uh, send us something in the chat. If you open link, click on the link.
Oh, everybody cleaned out like a fire alarm. What are you working on, Mike? Um, this uh, A-wing for uh, B scale model. Oh, right on. This uh, tail blast. He's driving all of mine. Oh, no. Sign out for a bit, guys. I'll see you later. Okay. Excuse me, sorry about that, guys. Oh. So how's this restaurant there, though, Mike, that uh, Orange County? Is it any good? It's all right. It's lawful, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, my complaint with them is it's full of earth. You know, you can win this is closing at 9 o'clock. Uh huh. Me and a couple guys, I was just like Monday Night Football or whatever. Halftime, they're like, all right, let's go. I'm kidding you, man. Yeah? <laughs> it's only <almost> halftime. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty decent. They have good, good beers on top and decent bar food, you know. Every once in a while, you see him in there, you know. Bobby, Bobby, he still got that real big showroom too, don't he? Yeah, that's that's ninety percent of the building. The floor right. and all the bikes are on display. Yeah, it's a big ass building. I see picture. I saw pictures of it. Huge, huge. Oh. People still 
visit and like tourist attraction. Well, yeah, yeah. I could see that, you know. You know. I mean, he's not on TV anymore, right? I don't know. No, no, I haven't, no. I used to watch it when it first came out. Yeah, yeah. When, when the kid was in there, because I liked the, the shit the kid used to do. Yeah. Um, I just, uh, I liked the bikes, but, you know, for me, it was, you know, when he started getting, and, and as far as a concept bike, they were nice. Yeah. But then you get to that point where it's like, really, dude? You know, yeah. I mean, who's who's buying these things? You know, because you you can't you can't. There's no practical way to ride them. You know, comfortably that is. I think when the kids started suing each other. Yeah, it just you know you're watching a family melt down on TV, yeah. and it's not cool. You know, who wants to see that? You know what I mean? Who wants exactly. to? Exactly. That's my. That's where I was getting at. You start seeing a family go go tear each other apart on television. It's like you know what? Yeah, it was good for ratings, for them, you know, because you know. But the dad in me is like, hell no, man! I would never do that. Not not publicly like that, you know. For anyone who thinks it's not real, I physically seen both shops. Yep. We're yep. not in business with each other anymore. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Now the kid is still building bikes, though, right? And he's got a shop, and I don't know what he builds. You know what I mean? He must still do corporate work with the old man, you know? Yeah. Just, they must still get. Uh, you know, you I think the old man does a lot of stuff. Uh huh. We get a lot of planes from Geico that fly in, and and we fly him on go to events and whatnot. And, right. So. Yeah, because most of his people were corporate clients. Yeah, exactly. I mean, still a, there's, there's a business. I, mean, I don't know if you can sustain that business model. That we're at, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, their whole, if I remember, their whole, their whole, their whole game plan was to sort of mainstream and build stock motorcycles for people under the OC. brand, right? That, that well, that was, that, was the, that was the original plan. Yeah. Um, that's what that's what they originally, from what I understand, that's originally what they want, what they set out to do, and I think that's where the kid and the father had their problems. Some of the guys that work with the local, and they, you know, they grew up with the kids or whatever. So. Well, I'm not from around here. No. Right. Originally. Yeah, I do know some people though that that, that know them. I, mean, I haven't spoken to them in years, but and like you said, there's not there's not a lot of goodwill there. No. You know, in the town at least, you know. Yeah, at least towards the old man there isn't. Oh, he's talking to somebody here. Baltazar, I can't hear you, man. What'd you say? You're muted. Stuff. You're muted. We can't hear you. He's talking, but we can't hear him. <laughs> the echo went away. Yeah, that's because we couldn't hear him. Now what you found out that that's the microphone setting? Yeah, it's usually your microphone, the settings on your microphone. It you it usually happens if you got an external one. That it's too close or 
It's too close to the to the, the speakers. Um, that's why I have mine way over here. Fuck me. Say something. No, you're muted. Say something. Nope. Not we lost you, brother. We lost you. You got to shut down and, and come back in. I just had to remind myself to go plug my damn camera in because that's what I did last the other day when we went to that damn other show. I forgot to plug my camera in. So I made sure I did it just now. Okay, I got my battery plugged and then I'll probably pick up a spare set. Yeah. Throw in the bag. Yeah, that's what I just did because my luck, I'll turn around and get there and I didn't plug the damn thing in. Last time I put the battery in the charge and then I walk out of the house and walk the battery in. Yeah, I've done that. Well, I'll stop a phone on my way out and there's the battery just to throw in the bag. What do you got, a 35 millimeter? Uh, I got a, a 12 meg digital. Digital lights, not, not uh -huh. really an SLR, but it does a good job. It works. Uh, I can change numbers on it if I want. I never have, but. Yeah, in video, I just use my iPhone. It's got a cheap better video than anything I have. You know, some of these phones, like this one I got here, man, it, uh, it's got some great video. It almost shoots better than this damn Canon I got. Yeah, so I got a good video camera in my phone. It's higher quality video. And, uh, especially for macro. Isn't that something? In the regular one, though. So I don't want to take it out anymore. But my still camera. So I can't have done yet. Uh. 
right. I'm gonna reload this because my questions here. Hold on. Let me just reload real quick. Okay, now let me turn that open. Yeah, yeah, it sounds better. So what do you guys got planned for the weekend? Well, I know what you're doing, Bob. Well, then Sunday, when I get after I get back, I'm going to go to the train club and hang out for a couple hours. Oh, cool. Shoot the shit. Now, you still, uh, do you still build your trains and stuff? Not as much anymore. Pretty much to reach maximum saturation. Uh-huh. If I buy anything new, something old's got to go. And it's like partnering with your ch stepchildren. I mean, you know, nothing. Yeah, yeah. I got a neighbor behind me, man. He, he's he got all those um those metal, you know, like the the, the engines and stuff. He, he collects those. He goes to a lot of those uh, shows where they have those... um. Real, he spends a lot of money on these guys weathering them, and I, t I tried. To, I told him, I said, "Dude, I could do that for you," but, you know, you get set in the ways. Oh, that monthly show there at uh, the Page County Fairgrounds. That's the one he goes to. Yeah. I used to come up and do that one all the time. He used to sell at it. That's the one he goes to. I went to it with them once, you know, and yeah, there's a, that's a different breed of, uh, of, of, uh, enthusiast because they, uh, they're very passionate about that stuff. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, with those, with those metal ones, man, you are going to spend some money on those things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful though. I mean, just beautiful the way they, they're made, you know. Yeah, I've got a 1931 set that still has its original boxes. Wow. Uh, don't even touch. I'm afraid the boxes will disintegrate if I play with it too much. Yeah, but you know what's cool about those, Bob? Those retain their value, man. Yeah, the boxes are worth more than the train that's in it. Yep, that's what I'm saying. The box itself, if you could find, I, I mean, that much I do know just from talking to these guys. You know, if you those guys go crazy when they see something that's still you still have the box and it's in good condition. You know. Yeah, nobody saved the boxes. Yeah, I mean, nobody thought of that. You know. Well, it was almost a status symbol on you know the day after Christmas. You put out, you put all the boxes out on the curb for the trash to show the Joneses that you were you were well off enough that your kid. To buy your kid a Lionel train, or yeah, or buy your kid an American Flyer or a March train, whichever one. So the, now the box I actually have the shipping. For that said, I have the shipping box that it came in from Lionel, addressed to Central Hardware in East St. Louis. Wow. It was shipped to from Lionel to the east to the store. That's cool. My brother bought his house. It's an old farmhouse out on the back, back forty. They were uh -huh. gonna the fire department was gonna burn down for him. And a uh, cat went in there and had kittens, and they had to go and find the cat. And he found us in the house. Really? Yeah, it was up in the attic. Oh wow! They've probably been sitting there for seventy years. And I took it out and put it on the track, and it ran. No so kidding. Boxes, and but, uh, we're not going to play with that no more. 
Well, lucky for him, that cat had kittens up in there. Yep. Lucky for me. Because oh, yeah. you got it, right? Yep. All right, B. What happened? You gave up? You fix it? Okay. <laughs> Check. No. Check your. What's wrong with your mic? Did you mess with your mic? Did you mute the mic on your? Check the mute your mic on your laptop. Cause you can hear us, but we can't hear you. You had to have muted that mic, dude. Yeah, you muted your mic and don't realize you muted it. Hello. Oh, that's what that is. I just realized that you're doing a two-camera shoot. I was like, what's that moving in the corner of your screen there, Gil? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I got the other, that, that man. It's like it. Yeah, I got that stupid Manny cam running, and it don't. Uh, it works when it feels like it. You know, it, that was originally an, an Apple thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> I downloaded it from my Mac here, and I can't even get it to work right either. So. <laughs> yep. Um, I've been trying to get somebody with their support, and and they'll tell me, okay, what is your problem? I tell them my problem, and then I don't hear from them. You know. I paid thirty bucks for it. I didn't buy the eight. You know, they were trying to get me to pay for the eighty dollar one. I'm like, man, I'm not paying for the eighty dollar one. I can't get the twenty dollar one to work. Yeah, I downloaded the free one and it don't work at all. So. I'm not... Yep. So I use it every now and then, but I try not to use it too much, you know, because it it I know when it starts acting up, and then so I'll have to switch over. I can't. Um, I bought it so I could run it through uh, as an encoder because it said I could use it as an encoder. No, you can't. No. So, and now Baltazar messed with his settings and don't. I wonder if he can't. He can't get his settings to fix now. You did it, B. Mm -hmm. You coming to bother Grandpa, boy? Chips, chips. No, man, you can't have no chips. You just had dinner. What's wrong with you? Go ahead. You can have a couple of them. Go ahead. What do you say? Say thank you. You say thank you? Thank you. Okay. Go about your daddy now. He he came over and he stole a couple of chips. Touch the mic at all? They just shut it down, huh?
Hey, B, unmute yourself. I muted it, now unmute it. Let me see if that helps. It won't let you unmute at the top? Oh, okay, you just did it? Yeah. You got no sound, dude. Yeah. I don't like you. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Come on. Shit. Put too much oil paint on that. I'm so used to uh when I'm painting with acrylic, I lick my brush to put a point on it. Ooh. And every time I go to take this off, I keep catching myself sticking this damn brush in my mouth with this oil paint. Uh, he only do it once, he'll remember forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with all this damn uh, 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 thinner on there. That's good for you. Bill's care. Put hair on the chest. Still nothing. Was that? Well, both of them are dropped out and back in again, but he's still no sound. Yeah. I don't know what happened. He was there, and all of a sudden, he's talking. I see him talking, and it's like, you know, that we don't hear him. Then he's like, hey, you're not answering me. It was working for a while, man. Yeah, it just stopped on him all of a sudden. There he is again. Yep. Yeah, something's something's going on with his laptop. <clears throat> I have that trouble on Uvu all the time, but I've never had that problem over here on on Google Plus Hangouts. You know, I've had it every now and then on mine, but I've had that echoing. But since I moved that uh that microphone over there, I don't have it anymore. Um, but I do, but I have noticed that the lately um, I've had a problem when I go to do a hangout. I got to jump through hoops to get one started, and I, I think it's just on my end. There's a link broken somewhere, and I got to fix it. So I'm gonna have to figure uh, uninstall it and then reinstall it over the weekend. Because I go to send somebody an invite. And they'll let me type the name in, but it won't let me send the invite. I just pulled it up off the Facebook page. Yeah. Again. That's why I've been putting it on the Facebook page a lot because it's I can't figure out what's wrong with it. But I'll figure it out. I mean it it's I might just have to uninstall it and reinstall it. Cause I know that they're trying to push to the they're trying to stop the hangout thing and push it to that live feed nonsense. Which is okay, but you know they want you to to download those encoders, you know. Yeah. And then when you download that encoder, half the time it don't work. I've downloaded three of them that are on their list, and half the time it don't work. And then they're trying to get you to pay you like a hundred and something dollars for the damn thing. Preposterous. That's what it is. Preposterous. Yep. Preposterous, I say. Mm. I see this new thing they got now that the, the the YouTube gaming or whatever it is. Well that's what they're that's that, that live thing. That's what they're using it for. They're gonna uh, do it for everything now? Well, 
I think I think what's happening is they stopped supporting this hangout thing. They're not supporting it anymore. No. So I think what's happening is that that's what they're going towards. They're going to start you making you use that, you know, if this is what you want to do. But see, here's the problem with that. If you watch like these news shows in the morning and stuff, they don't use Skype anymore. They're using this. Yeah. So I think what they want to do is like you know, from everything I've read, they're pushing that that um they're trying to get that beta version of what they that stupid little live thing that they got running. So we'll see. Thing is that you can't get an encoder that works right half the time. And I've downloaded all of them. But if you wanna if you wanna keep using this platform the way it is, I think that's what they're gonna force you to do. Yeah, because this used to work really well and all of a sudden yeah. all the hiccups started. Because we didn't have all the problems with this when it first came out. Damn dogs. My wife must be home. What do you got planned for this weekend, Mike? I got work tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. Do you really? I'm going to go in at 10 o'clock in the morning for three hours. And then I got to go back at midnight and work till 6 a.m. You know, my brother in law used to have those kind of hours. He worked at Midway and he serviced, uh, uh, he worked for uh, Beatrice Foods. Uh huh. But before they were Beatrice, they were eight, uh, the airline was uh, well that hangar and that plane used belonged to uh, AT and T, and then they sold it to Beatrice. So what he would do was uh, he would service the the, the corporate jet. Yeah. You know, they, it'd come in. He'd make sure it was clean. You know, uh, uh, he he make sure that the people had it fueled. Yep. And then um, that the refrigerator was stocked and all that shit. You know. Yeah, I run the ground crews. That's that's my I'm the ground crew manager, so I got a army football. Right. Yeah, he loved that job. That job was really nice. And then when uh, Beatrice sold them, they gave him a, a really nice severance pay and told him to take a hike. Yeah, we got army football. Yeah. Pretty good butt kicks. Yep. <laughs> whatever, whatever. I uh, but we we do all the ground handling for them when they go out. So. Uh huh. Well, gentlemen, my wife's home, which means I gotta go help her empty this car out. So, Chris, you take you take care, brother. If there's anything we can do, man, I'll I'll send you a, a I'll talk to you in a little bit, man. But if there's anything we can do for you, man, let us know, man. All right, I'll keep in touch. All right, my friend, Mike. I'll be talking a little later. All right, Bob, we'll see you tomorrow, brother. Tomorrow. You guys all take care.